chance they came, bought a devil's game, and gosh, they paid the price. Paid the price. And now they're fighting for their lives on a mission fraught with dread. And if they proceed but don't succeed, well, the devil will take their heads. Hello and welcome to Saturday Night Gaming. I'm your host as always, Mark W. And I have our sometimes host next to me, Mr. Rob Bob. Say hello, Rob Bob. Hello, Rob Bob. All right, today we're going to play a little Cuphead, if you haven't figured that out already. Uh, Cuphead is a really cool game. It's kind of a run-and-gun style game. And um, it is a, uh, it's from 2017, so it's just three years old about. And it is uh, animated in a cool 1930s cartoon style. Hey Stu, how's it going? Hi. Stu's Game Reviews is here. I was watching Stu stream the other day when he played uh, an early Sierra Online game called Crossfire that I remember playing a long time ago. Alright, so without further ado, why don't we jump into Cuphead. You have to hit a sign controller before the controller will work. And yours is just going to work, Rob, Bob, when we start. It's not lit up. Don't worry, I told you I tested okay. it. Make sure you're sorry. <laughs> um. Okay, let's uh, begin. We're going to start a new game. We already had two from a long time ago in progress. I'm going to have to go through the tutorial again. How about you, Rob? Uh, I remember, but I'll do it anyway, because why not? I'm too dumb to remember, so I'm going to do it. Or my memory is too bad. So there's uh, so player one. Yeah. There's two characters. What are their names? Cuphead and Mugface. Cuphead, Cuphead and Mugman. <laughs> Mug, 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 mug face. Yes. I call him mug face. All right, I'll be Mr. Cuphead then. And some static. Static. This is supposed to emulate the old style cartoons. Yeah. <coughs> you press A. Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Island, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise elder Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog, exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. Nice run, boys, laughed the newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now, how about we raise the stakes, he suggested with a toothy grin. They never made a physical version of this, Stu. Stu says he wishes there was a physical version. Uh. I guess it's only on Steam and such. Win one more roll, and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no, cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes, laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose! The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. There must be another way we, we can repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, uh, wrong voice. Yes, but please, Mr. Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I just might pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have until midnight to collect every one of those souls, otherwise I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. Oh, 
What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil. But if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. Sorry, I'm just checking something. You must play along for now. Collect those contracts, and you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to try. It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourselves for a scrap. Okay, I joined. Player two has joined the fray. All right, shall we do the tutorial? Yes. <coughs> Doc. Hey, your music is a little loud. Music's too loud. Uh, a little let's loud. Turn down your volume hardware. Ah. That'll do. It. Uh. Is it working? Oh, let's turn it down. Okay, let me see what I can do for you. Turn on the in-game volume. Uh, hold on one sec. Yeah, we can turn on the in-game volume. Why don't we do that? Okay, fine. Good? Uh, you just made the sound effects louder. Do you want... Okay, you fixed it. Okay. Uh, what the heck is Z? Oh, Z, that... It's not Z. Oh. That, that's on computer, I guess. Yeah, it, it changed itself. Okay, so we're gonna use Y to do that. Okay. <laughs> Down an A, okay. X. RB. Which one is RB? Okay, I'm such a noob. Okay. So that's just to lock in place. You press the RB, which is the shoulder button. So you can kind of yeah. go in all crazy directions. Give me one second, I wanna go back to the chat. I promise every time you switch out of cup, uh, cup head, it freezes. Oh, shoot. Parry, that's right. I forgot about parry. Anytime you see something pink, you can parry. Like that. What is the point of parry again? Um, you get one of those cards which lets you use the super let's thing. Use the super thing. See, at the okay, bottom. So you build up power for super attacks, basically, right? And it gives you, like, a better rank at the end. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Next, next move. My video is extremely laggy, so let's do Okay, let's see if we can do something about it. Let's uh, hold on a second. It's funny, I test things for like literally over an hour straight and it's fine. Uh, okay, I'm gonna uh, stop the stream. Please hang tight though, and, and then I'll tr change a few settings and reconnect. Okay, we are back. Yeah, it's like. I was literally playing the game and everything. Like I wasn't just like you know, not doing a representative test in my opinion. Anyway, I have turned down a couple. I have basically changed a couple of settings. Hopefully that helped. I went down to 720p as well as using the uh, very fast CPU usage preset in OBS, which should use less CPU. CPU basically. So hopefully between those two things, it'll be better. And let me try. Checking out the preview, see if it looks any better on my end. I kind of turned off the preview before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry about technical difficulties, they're always fun, huh? Alright, so let's uh, just try it and see how we do. Resume. Coin. That's the end of the tutorial. Okay. Now my sound volume is very low. <laughs> what happened there? Uh, what? Oh, I actually went to the tutorial. Went to the game. Okay. Uh, went to the tutorial again. Okay. Uh, hold on one second. Okay. I should hear everything at a decent volume here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll just go with it. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna play without sound. You were hearing it still? Yep. Huh. Well, now I am, but not when you. Not when I leave the game. Leave the window. Okay. Okay, Mr. Apple. Apple man. 
Oh, we both hit it at the same time, so we kind of missed it. Running, jumping, and shooting. And I refer to strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. So we each get some coins. Okay. We go to the shop. Pork Ryan's Emporium. See what do I usually like? I don't know what I like. I, I think the first time I played, I used to, I would get the heart because that was nice. I like mm. spread could be good. We should have four gold, right? Um, hey, we have four. Four monies. I'm gonna go for this. What did you get? Smoke bomb. Smoke bomb. I'll go with the spread. Okay. All right, I guess that's it. Can't afford anything else. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> You've got to equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equip cards, you bums. Uh, why? Okay. So, shot A. Uh, I'll equip mine. So, spread is an eight way, it says. I think I'll try that. You put that for shot B, right? You're going to swap between two. Oh. That's right, okay. I don't remember what they, they, they didn't tell us in the tutorial how to toggle between They'll them. figure it out, I guess. Okay. <laughs> okay. I actually hear something now, but it's low. Here's a boss. Actually, actually could you hold on one second again? Sorry. Okay. I want to turn up system volume for my device here. I'm going to eat all these peanuts. There, that should be better. Okay, back to the game. Botanic panic. Okay. Uh, simple or regular? I guess. Regular. Alright. I don't think simple is usually too easy. I mean, it's not easy, but it's so LB. Got this potato guy over there. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember how to s switch. It's L to the left. It's L. Oh, left there it is. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. It's not working. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Steal them all. I don't think you're really hitting him with that much. But whatever. Yeah, I just see the direct. Oh, he's gonna come out of the middle. How many times do I have to hit LB before it actually works? Oh, a lot. Is it onion? No, this onion is gonna cry. Instead of the onions, um. Ah, yeah. Instead of the onions making us cry. Oops. Nah. I was reading the chat, that's what I guess for that. I'm gonna die next, don't worry. I'm trying to change this damn weapon, but it won't work. Jeez. Oh, alright, I guess. LB, right? I pressed it like eight times. Alright, maybe my controller's busted. <laughs> I, didn't know I, could, I didn't know I could aim that. The super move. Yeah, I, I'm glad it's better now, Stu, okay. Yeah, I, I had to turn down, um... I turned down the res to 720p, and also I changed the OBS CPU preset to use a little less CPU. <laughs> so hopefully that'll do us good. Item the I got. carrot has a third eye. Item I got just makes me teleport when I use use my dash. Hey. Knockout. <laughs> this one's e easy. First boss. <clears throat> yeah, I died. <laughs> <laughs> I almost died. Oh, you just you can you can keep firing and press LB to switch, right? Yeah. Like I was I like why is this working the whole time? So I got Thank you can. And died. So I'm just not even gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go. Okay. All right. Where to next? Um, Bug face. Let's check out the angry coin guy. The root pack. Okay, we got the contract for that. All right, we can do this. Set I think there's pack. there's one up here. Do what? Okay. We can do this. Sure. Forest Follies, running gun. Okay. So this is, you have to get to the end. You get a lot of coins from these. Was that toad we just killed? 
Yes, there will be no more Mario games. Oh. Toad is always my favorite character to choose when he's, when he's an option in Mario games. This thing comes back. Okay. Got hit. So, yeah, that time I hit LB twice and it's it actually switched. Oh. Both gonna die. Oh, no. well, I can't. Thank you. Thank you for saving me, Rob. Well, I wanna. This is a pretty intense game. Right? I clearly am very rusty. <laughs> but I've never completed uh, it. I will save you this time. I have never beaten it either. What do we get up to? I don't remember. I don't know. I remember that dragon was difficult, but I think we beat him eventually. Uh, Did we? How do we jump this? Or dash. Uh, How do you dash again? Oh, uh, why? There you go. Oh, sorry, oh, you're dead. Alright. <laughs> Guess I'm dead. I remembered how to dash earlier. I would have been able to save you. I think it's almost over. What's almost over? Yeah, this level. Okay. I don't know what else you could have been talking about, so <laughs> I'm not sure why I asked. The acorn maker. That's how acorns are made. Oops. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> That's how cups die. Nowhere to run, nowhere to go. This forest is your foe. Alright, let's try again. We can do this. Yeah, something wrong with my LB. Or do I not have the weapon anymore? There we go. Hmm, that's weird. I think my button's a little messed up. Maybe I need to repair the controller or get a new one. So, have you played this game before, Stu? Stu says the, he loves the graphics, but the yeah, bosses the are... Yeah, the bosses are sponge. Sponge-like, yes. They resemble SpongeBob. He means... No. He means uh, they, they are too... They easy. take too much. They take too... Uh, they, like, they take too much or too little? Like, they take... too much, yes. Sponge you hit like them too much. You hit them a lot and they don't die, I guess. I guess too... I guess the opposite would be, like, glass-like would mean they, they're too fragile. That is true, they take a ton of damage. Yeah. Well, otherwise it would be a lot easier. Alright, what? Yeah. Oh. oh. You died exactly the same spot. Okay, now I'm back. Save me. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> 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 Can't get you now, sorry. Alright, All right, that's me. I'll get him this time, don't worry. That was a lot of death. A lot of death in one place. Okay, let's switch if it lets me. Switch weapon, switch weapon. Nope, won't let me. That's that's a new feature. You just sometimes can't switch your weapon. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Why did I jump in? <laughs> this game makes you feel dumb. At least it makes me feel dumb. Okay, so Stu just prefers to buy physical only games generally, he says. Okay. That's understandable. How do they even make physical games for computers? How do they make physical games? What do you mean? Because like, if it's physical, then you have to plug it into the system or whatever. Well, back in my day, we had these things called disk drives. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, going back in time, let's see. On the earliest computers I used, what? which were like the Commodore 64 and an Atari line of computers, they had um, cartridges, cassette tapes, and floppy disk drives. Those are your ways of. Those are the media you used to, to play games. And then going up to the PC years, we had a lot of disks. <laughs> But uh, not oh, only five and a quarter inch discs, which are the big ones, but they had the small discs, which are three and a half inch. You probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh, we all died at the same time. And, um, hold on one second. Somebody's sending me messages. I don't know why. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, so... Of course, the messages keep continuing, but I'll ignore them for now. Um, yeah, so going through the PC years, you got your three and a half inch disc, which held more than the five and a quarter inch discs. They held more data, even though they're smaller. It's physically smaller. And then we worked our way up to CDs. A lot of games came out in CD for many years. And yeah, like my Xbox 360. It's CD game. Right, I don't think that's the actual or DVD album. CD format as we know it, but... Or it was still like a... It's close enough, I guess. It's close to that. Okay, I don't know. I'm apparently not parrying very well either. So I should probably just not try it. <laughs> Ah, uh, but what else? Ugh. Shouldn't have jumped there. That's the gist of it. Oh, both, both rusty. Did ah. we skip DVDs? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get this. Okay. This is the part where we die. Okay, let's not die this time. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one thing that we should do is shoot the enemies before we yeah. jump across. <laughs> Here we go. Hold on, I want to, somebody, Axel says, Axel is my friend from work, he says one of us sounds like we're in an echo chamber, like Homer going into the 3D dimension, but the other sounds like a nice microphone. Uh. Okay. I wonder what's going on there. I don't know what I can do about it this time, though. Uh, let me check something real quick, though. Okay. Oh, you sound fine. Stu says we sound fine. We'll go with Stu. <laughs> <laughs> I, go, I like your, your criticism better. I like your description of, of the sound better, Stu. Hey, Axel, maybe you have it in a... Um, Maybe you have the win window open twice or something. One time, Rob Bob's friend was watching. He's like, yeah. oh, you got a huge echo. And we're like fiddling with everything. And he realized he had it open. And he realized he had it open nice. twice, and they were not on the same. You know, one was lagged behind the other, I guess. Unless Axel has really good hearing or really good speakers. Maybe he hears ah. better. <laughs> ah. By the way, hello, Axel. Axel is a front-end UI ninja, and I think his favorite framework is Vue.js. He's a ninja. Yep. His job is to be a ninja. He is a ninja. Okay. So the okay, trick let's is shoot that blue guy first. At least. I did it. Okay. He, that's, oh, jeez, really? <laughs> I'm going. Okay. Let's just run and gun. Maybe we should play the easy levels. <laughs> I kind of like a challenge, though. It's, uh, That's kind of the point of Cuphead, I think. Yeah. Challenge is supposed to... I mean, uh, Cuphead is supposed to kind of break your spirits until you cry. And it, But if you keep persisting, it feels all the more worthwhile. Yeah. Saving you. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, I blew in. All right. Whew. You would have died. You would have died there if it wasn't because you're invincible. And when you win, I forgot. Like one less second, it would have been a better green. I think. Oh, right. We survived that after like that. 800 attempts. We got a bunch of coins. Let's go shop. Back. Let's go back to the shop. Hey, Axel. Axel's in the chat now. <coughs> Hi. Okay. I hope I accurately described your job title as UI Ninja. Uh, what do we want here? Hmm. I don't remember any of these two. <laughs> I just, the heart is just a good bonus. It's straightforward. You don't have to think about it. It's nice to have an extra heart. I bought uh, you get? like a 
an aim, like a weapon that you don't have to aim really. So just yeah, kind of. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Don't, don't things that you don't have to think too much about. All right, I'm getting the heart. What? What is pea sugar? Automatic parry. Okay. I hope somebody didn't pee in the sugar. There's pea sugar. Hopefully not. That would be. Oh. I meant to. Okay. Um. I should do this one. Yeah. Okay. Ruse of an Uzi. Let's read the thing for a second. Sorry. <laughs> okay, it's boss time. Oh, my. Oh no, I'm just pressing the wrong button. Never Remember mind. to lock in when he's going up. You can do that. Oh. You can duck under that. Mm. You can always dash too when you're jumping over. You. I did not anticipate that bounce somehow. Okay. This is the first time you're watching one of my streams, Axel. Ugh. One of our streams, sorry, I shouldn't take all the credit. Ugh. The channel is Why Mark W and Rob Bopper then. Why can you aim that Don't. downwards? I aimed my EX move downwards on accident. Right. He's drunk. Shoot him while he's drunk. Rip. Oh yeah, now he's a tombstone that kills us. Oh yeah. He's dead, but he can still kill us. I'm trying to think of the Lovecraft quote, but I can't. Uh, that which... It's from, I think it's from Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, I'm, 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 it's too frantic for me to, to think of uh, Lovecraft quotes. Yeah. That which is not dead can eternal lie, something or other. <laughs> I can't remember. Okay, I died like three times, but we still won. And it was our first try. Anyway. Whew. So let's see how much we suck. I feel like we were way better at this in the past, but we probably practiced a lot. Okay, we still got the two star skill level, and our overall grade is a B. It's just the HP bonus that you we never get. Understand this game, Axel? What do you mean you understand this game? It's very complex. It's like NetHack 2.0. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got the soul contract for Goopy Lagrande. Okay. Uh, let's go down here and do the frogs. What does this guy do? I want to talk to him. Oh. Haram, if I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm putting my moolah in the bank. For all I know, the devil probably controls the place, too. This guy sounds paranoid. I think he's a, um, a QAnon person. They'll never get a hold of my gold if I spread it all around. And if some Joe happens to find a coin or two, good for him. That's what I say. Haram. Okay. So. All right, Ribian Croaks in clip joint calamity. Let's do it. Okay. Good day for us. Well, I remember dying a lot the first time. I this one's this difficult. Yeah. Well, you can use a D-pad. I didn't know that. I'm not gonna use a D-pad. Uh, okay. Oh. Right, you gotta dodge the punches. Uh, I gotta parry more. Uh. Slamming into something to parry it. I'm just getting hurt in the process. I thought that was something. They were shooting at me, that green stuff. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it could have made me jump for a moment. Is that guy dead? No. No such luck, huh? Uh, yeah. I don't like them the, surrounding me. It makes this me is the next phase. He turns into a fan because. He's my biggest fan. Is the, the fan taking damage? Do you know? I think they both take damage. How do we use this? B? Oh, wrong button. Oh my god. B is the cool thing, right? The cool attack? Let's do it. Yeah, the cool attack. I don't think he's immune, he's immune now. He's immune, great. Oh, you gotta parry his, uh, that. Oh. Thank you. Alright, now you can shoot him now. This 
It's kind of like a metal slug sometimes. I know Axel knows metal slug too. Oh man, I suck. <laughs> <laughs> I can use the parry to get up there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, bouncing balls okay, and can't... All right, I died. Uh, okay, I, I remember about... when I was the good one in video games. Uh. The, the coin just hurt you, right? Uh, yes. Do they ever parry? Do they hurt, like, no, they I don't think so. Okay, yeah. That was a good job. I can't believe I did that one. Usually I don't. Huzzah. Usually it takes me a few attempts to do that one. That's difficult. You reminded you of Metal Slug. Yeah, me me and Arturo are supposed to play Metal Slug online sometime, but we haven't got that ha happen yet. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, where is Senor Leoncito? He never misses his stream. It's all contract for Ruby nope. and Croaks. Shouldn't skip it that fast. Whatever. There's fish fishing. Should we go to the mausoleum or is it blocked off? Uh, no. It doesn't look like Oh, hey, Arturo is here. Hello, Arturo. Uh -huh. Be gone, spirits. Oh, wait, you're real. I was about to hit you with the old parry move. That's how you deal with ghosts around here. Only a nitwit tries shooting someone who ain't really there. Speaking of be... Speaking of not being in places, would you fellas mind moving on? Gee, you're spooking the fish. Wait, that's a you fish. You are the fish. fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kind of creepy. All right, let's go uh, hunt ghosts or something. Thanks for joining us. Mausoleum one. Mausoleum the first. No, mausoleum one, yes. Uh, in this one we have to shoot ghosts, right? Uh, we have to parry ghosts. Parry a bunch of ghosts, okay. Now go. Okay, there we go. You get all the you ghosts. Want to get the left? I'll get the right. Or uh, sure. Just want to get them all. I don't know. <laughs> How does the sound sound for you, Arturo? Axel said one of us sounds like we're in an echo chamber, but then Stu sound, said it sounds fine, so I don't know. The first one isn't too difficult. <laughs> Arturo was right. He said, what do you think? Why is that creepy? What do you think fish eat beef? I guess that's a good point. They, they eat, eat other fish. fish. Yeah, I do eat other fish. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You yeah. got me there. But yet it's creepy that he's sitting on the dock acting like a human being with a fishing pole <laughs> into the water. Victor Lee. Do you guys remember in Samurai Shodan it would say Victor Lee? Gosh, I don't know how to thank you boys for saving me. Where are my manners? I didn't even introduce myself. I am known as the legendary Chalice. Pleased to meet you. I was searching for magic and got trapped by those ghosts. Speaking of magic, please accept this gift. It should help. There are other... Oh, oh sorry. I wonder if there are other mausoleums. I think she said there are other Oh, there are. I don't know. Okay, so what is it? So... Dear me, you mustn't forget that magical super arts have to be equipped in the menu before use. Alright, so if you have five of the cards, then you can use a stronger attack. Okay, sorry that we sound echoey. We'll have to look okay. into this some more. Usually, you know, it could be our new, um, I'm using a new docking station I got. Basically, I want to be able to plug in a, a zillion different devices into this docking station. Um, right now, I would have more USB things plugged in than my computer could handle it. So uh, we're in this docking station, and maybe that's making the difference for some weird reason. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna slide a little bit away from Rob Bob. Yeah. That'll help. He's flying the other direction. <laughs> All right. Maybe just maybe just our voices being a little farther apart might help. Anyway. Maybe. Uh, so super is empty. Let's put a number one. This is an energy beam. A devastating attack spills from your head, horizontal only. Okay. So that's equipped for me. Are you all set? Yeah. Oh, I didn't put on my heart charm. Oh Don't. yeah. Do that. So now it's on. So now you have extra health. Okay. Alright, so, um, I guess, I think we go, go up here. I'll go up here. Who's this nerd? Nerd. <laughs> What's that? You two want to fly in the plane like I do? Ha! Huh. You're not sitting in any cockpit till you study those blueprints. That's how you, that's flight school. 
aeroplane blueprint. You just have to look at a blue blueprint. Blueprint. Oh, we're flying. That's right. Shoot is X. B is special. A. It's the same thing, basically. Except Y is shrink. I forgot you could shrink. So you become Why faster. You okay. And your hitbox is smaller. So you hold it. You have to hold it. It's not a toggle. You have to yeah. hold it. And parry is the same, really. You gotta do voices, X. Parry thing. You're, you're always parrying. You're out parrying me all the time. <laughs> Turn to a nuke. Is that, that, is that your special? Uh, when you get. Oh, so you have to parry enough stuff. Five okay. of them. Gotcha. Then you get. Alright, let's go on. Let's move on. Uh, how do we move on? Uh, exit right here. Uh, okay. You become a voiceover artist. I should. That would probably be more lucrative than what I do now. <laughs> Hildeberg in Threatening Zeppelin. My um next door neighbor growing up, this old the, the older guy, he was um he's like my generation, but like about six years older. He he married someone a woman who was her voice naturally sounded like a cartoon character. And she actually was doing uh voice work last I heard. A great clam and then some. A great clam and then some. I got shot by the haha. Ha ha. What is going on here? Uh, probably use a shrink. I'm not sure when it would be wise to shrink or not. Just wanna go you have to hold it down though, which makes it a little awkward. Ooh. So you go faster and you're smaller. You can't you're shooting doesn't shoot as oh, far. Oh yeah, you don't shoot nearly as far. So that's kind of a bad drawback. I guess there has to be some kind of drawback. Oh, I'm dead. Thanks. Thanks for saving me. Let's do the nuke. Nuke him. Oh, you you got invincibility. What? Because because of the being revived. Oh, so I couldn't explode? Yes. That's weird. Is that you need to take damage for that? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Excuse my language. If that's even considered bad language anymore. So I need to actually observe that rotating machine gun's pattern next time. <laughs> it's going around in a circle. Counter I don't, this doesn't look very good for us. Well, you don't have to worry about saving me anymore. <laughs> I think I'm on the last phase, actually. Make some weird noises. Whoa. Nuke it, nuke it. Oh, now I got a UFO to worry about. Several UFOs. This game is definitely very entertaining visually. It's fun too, but it's like you, I could just watch somebody play this and be amazed. I'd be more amazed if they didn't die over and over. But no. <laughs> oh wow! Out. Okay, I'm gonna take a water break. How about you? Yeah. Ah. Uh. What's our grade B again? It's always B. I think we're doing well except in the hit point. Yeah, because, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything is perfect except for the. Except we get it too much. And I die more often than you. Let's see, let's go to. Uh, Alright, All right. so yeah, now we have like one more, two more things? Old contract for Hildeberg. Alright. What's this one? Treetop trouble? One again? Sure. Oh. Alright, let me switch to this, because this is a lot easier. I just gotta get my switch to work. There we go. It's Woody Woodpecker. Ha 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 ha. Can't do his voice right now. Ah. I could probably try, but I'd be extra loud. Alright, we have three parries. We don't need any more. Oh. Actually, need this one. You cannot kill Woody, can you? No. Oh. Okay. Ah. All right. You're you're, <laughs> Sorry. you're going now. I gotta actually look for these holes. Yeah. Oh. oh. Who invited you into our tree? Only members are welcome. You see, we try. This one's difficult. Ah. 
I almost got it. And you did. And I did. Jesus. I want to kill Woody. But he won't Why die. are there two of them right, coming at once? Going. I'm like wasting time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm done. Don't. Oh. No. Oof, that hurts. I guess you just try to go for the parries like earlier because if you do them late, then you'll take damage. But if you do them early, you probably won't. Uh, I might just ignore the parries. For or just if you want to go for it, feel free. Oh, you just got the notification. What notification? Well, that's what Stu said. Oh. oh. I always expect them to uh, jump. Some of them jump, some don't. Oh, man. I feel so lame tonight. Uh, yeah, Stu always has a problem where the stream notifications come super late. Like, what's I think that's on? just happens, happens to me sometimes. It does happen to me too sometimes. All right, it's up to you, Mr. Mug Butt. Alright, I'm just gonna have to win. Which one is that green weapon called? Uh, Chaser? Chaser, that's, that's nice. <laughs> I'll have to aim That's really. nice if you can't aim. Yeah. And I can just... <laughs> I didn't even have to risk getting hit. Send the tree and get every coin. Yeah, look at that. You can just hang out there while I know. You shoot them. That's, that's really nice. What? Oops. Oh, okay. Don't fall down there. You have your super weapon, by the way. Yep. I'll probably use it at the end because it's like a mini boss, kind of. It's possible to do all of the running guns without actually shooting. What? Yeah. If you have this dash, at least. That was very risky. I shouldn't have done that. Are they mosquitoes? Yes. They're I think. Giant mosquitoes. Or are they, um... I guess they're insect, right? They're not, they're not bird. Because look at the wings. No, yeah. They're not, they don't look like birds. At least they're wings. <laughs> Oh, that's a mosquito. That's the boss. No, that's not a mosquito. That's something else. It's got like mandibles. It doesn't have like the the long, piercing, blood sucking part, whatever you call it. Ah. Okay. Oh. All right. Let's try again. Try again. <laughs> this time I'm gonna not die early. That's a good idea. That's a good strategy, right? Should try that. And for these rolling guys, I'm going to try to focus on going under the them if they're uh, the bouncing kind, and jumping over if they're not. <laughs> the trick is to try to not get hit. <laughs> no, but I, with the rolling guys, I often think I can shoot them before they hit me, but that doesn't usually seem to be the case. I think dodging them is usually... Oh, uh, you can still, I can still get this, I know. How are you going to get that? You have to, like, do it perfectly. You can go from the height and the dash. There you go. There we go. Oh, you died there. I thought I heard the noise, but never mind. Okay, I think it's almost it's over. My sound somehow. You have sound. I have. I have sound I'm sound. hearing it fine. You're hearing it fine. Yeah. My sound's been weird. It's like um. Okay, I'm just gonna cheese this. Oh. Maybe I gave you the good headset. And Maybe. I the bad one. Hey, hold on, hold away from me. <laughs> but the bad one was just intermittently bad, so I figured. Why it is this not? Good. Anyway, whatever. It's not like working. It's trying. It's aiming for the that one. Why? Because it's dumb. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Land <Lansky -tow. laughs> All right, let's kill this thing. You gotta stop reading chat and start killing trees. That's a good idea. Killing trees. Killing trees. Yeah, my sound's totally done. I don't know what happened. You hear it. Right. Yeah, here, fine. It's perfect. Oh. I've had like one glitch. 
Sorry, I'm smacking my headset, so sorry about the loud noise just then, people. Okay. Uh. Don't. You always make a Homer Simpson noise. Yeah, I'm pretty much Homer in real life. Except I weigh about mm, five pounds less. <laughs> okay. Uh. okay. Those fireballs do hurt you. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got thrown off because you died. <laughs> you, thought, you thought I died? Or you thought you died? No, I got thrown uh. off like, oh crap, I gotta jump back, and it kind of uh. threw off my uh, rhythm and I fell to my doom. What happened? Okay. Well, do you want to try someplace else or retry this? Is there even another place uh, to try? There's like one more place, I think. Okay, let's try that. Then we'll come back come to this. Come back to this. What does this guy have to say? He says, What are you looking at, my chip? <laughs> ha! It's not my fault. I've been busy fighting off those casino debtors. Now I gotta save up to have my blade fixed. What is he? He's an axe. He's an axe? Okay. He's an axel? So, help me. I wish someone would bust that King Dice one. Pow, right in the kisser. Okay. Floral Fury. <laughs> <laughs> they should make a fighting game like Mortal Kombat, but with flowers. And it's called <laughs> Floral Fury. Well, I guess it would be like Fatal Fury, right? Floral Fury, produced by SNK. Yeah, you just focus on dodging with this weapon. Mm. Ah, okay, they do grow from this oh, floor. Okay, that's right. I remember that. This game. one's this is my ah. this is like difficultest boss, the most difficult boss the most of the first island island. Oh, the first island. Damn. The diff most difficult would be the final boss, probably. Probably. Oh come on. I would assume so. No. Uh, ah. I was trying to parry that one. Oh. What is he throwing that boomerang thing? A uh, bird. It's a bir he throws a bird? Looks like it's a bird. Or does it just come at you? I don't from know. Maybe. Screen? Well, I don't know why there's a bird boomerang. A boomer a bird boomerang. Yes. I couldn't make that pun work any better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I was uh, to go back to the other one. <laughs> I'll do it again. Okay, I'll switch in. No, it doesn't even have the range, so I will not switch back. Please switch back. That's annoying. Oh, I'll try to pair that, and I failed. We gotta stop getting hit. Seymour 2 took me by surprise. Go down. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> no, I tried to save you. Alright. What was the sign that I should go down? Was he, like, what? animated in a certain Oh, uh, um, if it's... If he, like, moves back okay. at the top... Then you go to the bottom like that. Gotcha. And if it is at the bottom, go to the top. Got it. Oh yeah, that's a bird, I think. Oh, well, I actually did a. Oh, you can duck. duck oh, <laughs> and then it came around from the bottom. <laughs> I'm like, I'm go like top. congratulating myself. Oh, I'm so good. Oh. Then I get smacked. I want to just switch and use that. Oh. Okay, dodge. Ugh. Let's get these flowers. Oh, hit that flying brain thing. Oh, oh that was me. Damn it. I thought that was you. Okay. You got this. Come on, cartoon characters," said Axel. And Stu says Axel is rooting for the boss. <laughs> <laughs> but we're all cartoon characters, right? Yes. So I'm wondering when I shoot straight like this, I think I tend to. You don't always hit him. Yes, you too. That's why I'm using yeah. this. Okay. Like sometimes you hit under. That's the problem. I really that's one, that's one of many problems we're having. We shouldn't. So I'm wondering keep if I'm better off bouncing up and down or not. Maybe. 
Or you can just use your homing attack. Oh wait, you don't have one. I don't have one, that's right. <laughs> thanks, for the rub thanks for rubbing it in. I'm gonna try to save up for like my big super thing. We duck. Just sit here and duck until those things come at you. My parrying has been so bad. Oof. Okay, this is the final phase. <sighs> Alright, don't go on yet. Oh, I got him. I'm about to. No, I'm dead. Oh, come on, no, I'm pressing dead. the damn button. <laughs> We're all dead. I'm pressing the jump button to parry and hit yeah. you, but uh, I don't know what happened. I guess I was a little bit slightly to the right. Yeah. Oh. Extreme pollination and total domination, says the angry flower creature. Yes. Yeah. Oh. I, shouldn't, I shouldn't do that, probably. I didn't even see that one coming. It's like your body blocked it. I was jumping like this for no reason. Okay. <clears throat> Dodge. It's nice when you have an idea of the patterns that are about to unfold. Yeah. Otherwise, it just seems like you're getting hammered with all this chaotic stuff and you don't know what to expect. I feel like I should duck underneath that boomerang more. Because it's, it's actually nice to know that you can do that. True. Uh, okay. Don't be on the bottom. Or and left. don't be on there. I can use this one now. Because the homing thing has less damage. I know that. Yeah, generally in any game where you have shooting nah. and oh. the homing weapon, it will not do as much damage. Ah. I gotcha, I gotcha. Come <laughs> on! <laughs> How many times have I hit the damn button? Oh. Use your... Uh, oh. Got him. Ooh. Take that, you damn flower. Uh -huh. I'm flipping did. it off real hard now, guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. This um, stream is brought to you by refrigerator water. I should be drinking harder stuff because this game makes me want to cry. But for now, it's water. <laughs> I it makes me question any confidence I have in my video game skills. Alright, so we have, like... Now we have to... Soul contract for Cagney Carnation. I don't think we have to do this one. Let's do it. We can do it. Can I do think it. all the running guns are optional, actually, aren't they? I or think so, yeah. But you get a lot of money from them, so it's usually, like, all worth right. it. Let's go. Okay. <coughs> Use the homing. Use the homing, Luke. Just kill everything. Don't even worry about parrying. Hold on, give me a second. I buried her. Okay. Huh? I did it! How could you? Oh! <laughs> I gotta miss that jump. Oh, wait. Come on, I'll pair this because I need got a coin. The money. Show me the money. Oh, my. I'm breaking my own. Okay, Woody. That coin. Got it. I got it. Okay, he's dead. We don't actually have to kill them. We can just go past them. Uh, I suppose. Okay, maybe I shouldn't leave you behind. No, don't leave me behind. <laughs> no. Now everything's thrown off. <laughs> okay, I'm maybe it. it's my fault. <laughs> it's your fault, actually. Save me! Save me, Mug, mug Fart. <laughs> That's your name now, Mug Fart. Okay. Hold on. I'm leaving you behind now. I gotta try to. Oh. No. <laughs> I'm being a sm smarty pants. I'm like, I'm gonna leave you behind just to be goofy. And I saved you I somehow. I died, you saved me. So I'm a jerk. Barely. Barely a jerk? 
No, I barely see. I'm it. totally injured. Yeah. Uh oh. Gotta eat the dash. I'm just gonna wait. Oh, it reappears. Okay. <laughs> the mosquitoes come back. I mean, you probably could get soft locked if it wasn't. I don't know. Get what? You could probably get soft locked. Ugh. No. I just don't worry. Okay. Rob Mugfart Bob. Okay. You're pretty close. Yeah, it was close. Yeah, like the boss thingy after that is the last thing. Hmm. The boss thingy. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. oh, what am I doing? Did I not dash there? No, I did. Alright, you know what? We're gonna have to do that. I did it first try. Guess I'm just too good. Good to dash. To get over those pits a little bit. Yeah. Uh, okay, maybe I'm not too good. <laughs> More than one hit point, jeez. Yeah, I feel like we should be at higher this early. At least not that early. And Yeah, the homing things are trying to hit this thing through the wall. Through the ceiling. Oh. Stop living. The funny thing is, my sound is totally fine now. Huh. Alright. It has been for a while. Ah. Where are you? Where are you? I'm dead. I'm, I'm below you. I'm below you. Oh, okay. There you are. <clears throat> I heard your death chime. Bong. Oh, oh, there's my death chain. Oh, oh, I didn't know you could go through that. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Oh, uh, let me go down there. Okay. Jeez. No. <laughs> Oof. Uh. Thank you. Okay. Ah. Uh. My cup. Oh, <laughs> die reading the chat again. Damn it. <laughs> and I couldn't save you. <laughs> the name of my cup is Mr. Athletic. No, um, my guy's name is Cuphead, actually. But the water glass I drink from is just called Refrigerator, refrigerator Water Holder. You know, they were con people to invent the cup were considering naming it that, but decided to name it the cup. Refrigerator water holder? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Also, I died because okay. I wasn't really paying attention. I need anxiety meds for this game. Okay, let's do it. Try again. Alright, let's see. Is... We're going to do it this time, so. Of course. I just, just, I just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. That's what I do in other games. Just dodge. I remember feeling this way when I first okay. played... First played Mega Man. <laughs> there, okay. I got it. You got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm really pounding the button for parrying. It's probably better to do that than to try to time it. Oh. I think... I don't know. What do you think? I think that yes, but no. Alright. By the way, guys, what should we do this Monday for Monday May? I don't think I'm going to be ready to do the trackball <coughs> um, stuff. Uh, oh, okay. Thought I I'd just, get hit. I could just increment to 1993. That's where we were, I believe. Okay, we just did 92. I don't know why it was aiming up when it was next to me. <clears throat> this should be considered cheating. You have a cheat code. Does the Konami code work in this game? Are you trying it right now? Yes, it doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> Oof. 
Come back, Mr. Mosquito. What was the game you were playing before with your friend? Terraria. Ah, Terraria. We could try that again. Ugh. Okay. Because now that we resolve that strange frame rate issue, it should be more playable. Save me. What are you doing? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is the boss. Let's kill his boss. Hello. Did I spawn? Oh, I have to go. Ah. Oh. Oh. Uh, press the Oh, I had health. I, I had to use my super weapon and I pressed charge. Jeez. Ugh. Oh, wait, no, I thought. Okay, oh, whatever. We got this. Okay. It's dead. Got a. Whoo, good job. Uh, okay. It's over, right? Is it not Can you make this jump? <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. Alright, now this is the second part of the level. Okay. Oh. They should. They should do that for one of the. One of the bosses. Just act like you won, and then you didn't win. Act like you. Wait. The boss acts like you. It would. It would like. He fakes yeah, being dead, basically. Yeah. And then that would be very. Goes, ha -ha. Yeah. Like in a horror movie or something. So you have to double tap him. That would be annoying. Okay, I think that's everything. All right. Well, now we're at the dice thing, the die the house. The die house. This is where you die. Well, ain't that a? Uh, Oops, sorry. Looks like you boys really put the kibosh on them debtors. You can head on over to the next aisle. Plenty more marks for you to lean on there. A viewer named Everett says we could have just dashed through the bug. You can just do that and skip him. What? Guys, hang on. Oh yeah, you can. Thank you can. the stars. I caught up with you. I believe I found a way out of this mess you're in. Oh, thank goodness, Mr. Kettle. Hot dog, you have? Your strength is growing. You'll soon be a match for that no good dice king. King Dice, I mean. And maybe even the devil himself. Golly, do you really think? I do, but you'll never get close to the devil unless you already have those soul contracts in hand. Only then will you get a chance to turn the tables on that fiend. So when that time comes, do the right thing. Don't mind the background. Alright, so this is the second area. Who are these sad looking folks? They're sad. Who ever heard of a barbershop trio? If we can't find our fourth member, we'll never sound right again. Be a pal and let us know if you spot him, won't you? Okay. Where's the shop? I think there should be a shop here. Shop There's where? a guy who tells us how many times we've died. Oh, well, that's sad to look at. Through all your battles and all my rhymes, you have failed and perished 67 times. <laughs> That's it? I, <laughs> I thought we were into the thousands by now. <laughs> What's this here? Should we do it? Uh, I wanted to look if there's a shop. Okay. I don't know if there is. I don't think there is. Oh, it's the nerd again. I call him the nerd. The nerd? G good timing. Oh. Can't Sorry, he had to upgrade. You can now wall up your foes with bombs. Just switch device. your weapon whenever it strikes you fancy. Try it out. Your airplanes are now equipped with mini bombs. Switch your weapon anytime during battle. Okay. If you can. So that's only when you're in an airplane, okay? Yes. Which we're not going to be an airplane for this one, I think. Carnival kerfuffle. Sure, let's go. Okay. This one I find very oh, difficult. Yeah, this is not easy, I, re I recall. None of them are easy. This one's very difficult, though. Okay. Oh, okay, don't do that. Okay. Second phase? 
Do we have to hit those ducks? <laughs> Probably not. If you touch them, then oh, you take We got damage. some dog heads coming out. That's weird. That but okay. Compare this. Oh, you got it before me and we both died. Yay. Yeah. Alright, we'll retry. Okay. Alright, well, we'll, we'll win this time because I just won't get hit. That's a good strategy. Okay, yeah, so when he charges at you, jump and dash, basically. Oh. I think we missed the opportunity to parry that one, because we shot yeah. it. Hammering that button to parry. Alright, well, I didn't save you. You died. Great. We're kind of close oh. to the end of that. No, we weren't. No, I mean the, that phase. Okay. Not the end of the boss fight. Every time you learn a little bit. Oh, those ducks actually hurt you? you touch yeah, them. yeah. I didn't realize that. Uh, that one has a light did. bulb that drops on it. So we gotta shoot those two, okay. We can just avoid them, yeah. You pair that one. Yeah. The thing is, if you jump up trying to avoid the main I guy. I think if you, you used your red special for your red gun on on him, that would do a lot of damage. Oh. Ah, forgot about that. Random dog heads. I guess they're supposed to be balloons. Right. Okay, this one's annoying. Okay. So green donkey means do whatever he just did. Ah, oh, you're dead. I'm almost dead. What? Oh. Well, what should we play after this? I You're gonna go to bed. I'm thinking Is of what I'm gonna play by myself. <laughs> Is it already late? It's 10 10. Okay. So. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe at 10 30. Okay. I'll, I'll force you to go to bed. Unless you're too tired. Rob Bob had a long thing today, he did today. He was yeah. helping some Cub Scouts out. And a, it was a five-hour session outdoors in the cold below well, I didn't freezing. Mean to be well, and don't worry, they were all socially distant and wearing masks. Yes. I was wearing two masks. Was two masks. Okay. Oh. Ugh. I'm not doing it. Ah, I thought it was you. I tried to save you and getting killed in the process. <laughs> <laughs> this is Oof. not good. I think we're running out of steam here. Maybe we should just jump to a different uh, location. Yeah, I, this is like a very difficult fight. Do a different one. Oh. Mix it up a little bit. What about this Ferris wheel? Is that something? That's no. nothing. Do this? Sure. Or we can do what that. is that? Uh, pyramid with sand pouring out of pyramid peril. We could always do simple, but we're too um, masochistic, I guess is the word. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, so we have the bomb. Which does, I think I don't know if it does more damage or not. My LB doesn't work, so. <laughs> Except for when it does, which is not, it's not working. Often. Yeah. There we go. If you're above him, you can use it, I guess. Yeah, it's good when you're above. Then you can switch back to Okay. Oh, I think th this breaks... I think I remember that this breaks the f things in one hit. You have to hit the heads. I hit the heads. Okay, they break it in two hits, but cool. still. Plus, you can hit below you. You don't want to hit these spinning blades, I take it. 
Uh, no, they actually give you health. Oh, cool. They're blades of health. Yes. LB, 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 LB. Okay. That time it worked. It only took like four or five tries. That sounds annoying. <laughs> Don't. I guess I shouldn't even bother with that. Okay. I don't know if I hit him there, but I tried. Uh, he hit me there. You're back. Use your... Oh, don't. don't. Yeah, I should use <sighs> That's so close. Alright, this think this is the last phase, or like the second to last phase. I think there's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Retry. Oh, he does something different. Now he's got a cat thing. What is it? Go away, cats. You cannot shoot the cats. No. Don't do that in real life either. Shooting cats? Yeah. Probably a good idea. Ugh. Oh, you got hit. Oh, damn. I'm dead. It's up to you. Yeah. That's hard to dodge. Yeah, because the way those things were moving, I oh. guess, they were kind of, um, they were kind of going in a, what do you call it, like a helix kind of pattern. I don't know if, that, yeah. I don't know if that's the right word. But sometimes it's a wide yeah, it is for like, distance, and sometimes not. It switches, <laughs> it like, from yeah. wide to not. It's a lot easier. You should probably use your small mode. That's a good point. But that's, uh, you mean when dodging, right? Okay. Worth it. It was worth it for that parry. For both of us to take damage. Not really. Go away, evil cat. You cannot kill these cats, that's really annoying. Yeah, use your, uh... Bam! Your... Kamikaze! Okay. I guess you can just dodge it like that. Mm-hmm. Hey. Thank you. Okay. I don't know if shooting him actually does damage here, but whatever. It gives you card stuff. Alright, Pinocchio, you're going down. You see the yellow things that happen when he shoots? I think that's what killed me last time. Oh yeah, the bullets go up and down, kind of. Or uh, whatever that is. Oof. <laughs> I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Hey Ryan, Ryan's here, everybody. Hey. We're like um getting totally murdered by this game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, let's do it this time. Ah, what are you dropping? My phone. Pick it up. Alright. Ready? E yes. Oh, I time to use. Oh. Ah. Go away, cats. What use your small. Or don't. Yeah. 
should probably shouldn't go for all the parries. No. But we do, because we're... Cause I wasn't going for it. I was trying to stay alive. I just did a dump. But... Uh, <laughs> how do I die? This is like the easiest way. Well, whatever. Oh, you really didn't stack up, that's for sure. You did really bad that that phase. Well, what do you think? Continue with this one? Uh, one more try. One more try, and then we're gonna go cry. <laughs> cry ourselves to sleep. Oh, okay, that's new. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, I thought it was you. See, I'm really, really losing now. <laughs> I'm like, why is he getting hit so much? Why oh, that's that? me. That's Dodging is better than the cat somehow. Almost ready to use. Uh, yeah, that. Oh. Ah, that was a waste. You can kind of just. You don't even have to go in between them most of the time. You can kind of yeah, just. You can go around it. Yeah. Usually. I shouldn't have done that. Kill Pinocchio. Okay, so we'll shoot. Okay, okay. parry. <coughs> okay. Blow him up. Blow him down. Blow him down. I don't know. Hopefully, you hit him there. Alright. Whoa. Okay, that is. What is that? Oh, I didn't see those. I thought that was like the background or something. Okay, uh... Am I supposed to hit these pyramids? <laughs> no, you're supposed to dodge when they do that. What is he shooting? Uh. That. <laughs> How are they supposed to dodge? I guess I go small. Ooh, man. Uh, okay. Let's... Well, shall we call it a night? Or do you want to do it again? What time is it? 10, 20. Uh... Okay. If you, don't, if you want to try again, that's okay. I think we're really close. I think we could do it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Excuse me. That's my chair. Not my butt. After we beat it, I'll go to bed. Unless it gets, like, too late. Unless it gets to be 3. 3.30 in the morning. At rate we're going. No, actually, we are improving. That's, that's very true. Ah. Okay. Hear the dishwasher probably in the background. <laughs> Actually, laundry. Uh, laundry probably in the background. Huh? We got hit too much. <coughs> no, I'm just gonna. Ooh. I definitely agree with going around those. Thingies. Yeah. Those little plants that he shoots at. Whatever. Go into like the small. Small. Move. Becomes small. Use the nuke. Use the nuke, Luke. <sighs> All right. My sound is gone again. Star Wars, I don't know why they use a Death Star to destroy planets when they could just nuke it a bunch of times, probably. Okay. That just sounds like it would work easier and not have to build a giant. That's probably true, because nukes... Yeah. That's, that's, I mean, 
Defend you wouldn't destroy the planet? You could definitely destroy all the people with well-placed nukes. Especially right, if you... Considering the advanced technology would be pretty... There would probably be pretty big nukes. Yeah. They wouldn't need a, a special uh, you station. You have to go small at the top. Uh, or at the side. So avoid that. Don't. Ugh. Use the nuke. Illuminati got me. Use nuke. Yeah! Wow. Like he doesn't have a lot of health in that face. Ha, take that, you genie, whatever you are. Woof, that was tough. We did it! And once again, we get a zero for the hit point bonus, but we did well elsewhere. And we gotta be... <sighs> so Stu's gonna stream a game called Alice and the Magical Dragons, an indie adventure game. That's cool. I don't know the first one you, that we're referring to, though. Yeah, Stu, okay. Stu likes to stream adventure games and retro games. Alright, we did Jimmy the Great. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna go. I'm going to bed. To sleep. Leave me alone to my own cuphead horror. <laughs> my cuphead hell. Alright. Oh, thanks for playing. Right. Say goodnight to our Good night to everybody fans. watching. Good night to you. Good night to you. No, I will not sing. Um. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you. I'll see everybody next weekend, probably. I'll throw bacon at you in the morning. Okay, I will catch it in my mouth. And what shall I play now, folks? I often uh, play something with Rob Bob, and then I resort to like NetHack after that. A nice calm game where you're uh, getting destroyed by a zillion monsters. Uh, okay, see you later, Stu. And Ryan, if you're going to go join Stu. But I'm going to take a little bit of a break here, like about five minutes. I will pause. I'll leave this screen on for you so you can enjoy the lovely Cuphead music. And uh, if you guys want to comment about what else I can play, I'm, I'm feeling like probably just defaulting to NetHack, but um, I'll take other suggestions too. And so yeah, I'll be back. And maybe I'll have some whiskey too. So I'm...
and I'm back, and I have fire water. I have refrigerated water and fire water, a good combination. Um, any ideas of what to play? I see, seems like I lost everybody except possibly one person. I assume that's you, Arturo. <laughs> uh, I don't know, shall we just do some net hack? Fire water is a term for uh, alcohol. <laughs> Or strong liquor. I have whiskey, basically. I mean, usually it means something like moonshine, but I'm being a little bit liberal with my usage of that term. <laughs> All right, so why don't we... Um, I don't know, I'm just going to play NetHack unless you have any objections. <laughs> or any better ideas. So let me uh, quit out of this game. And I'm actually going to turn off the display capture for a moment because I don't want you to see my desktop. <laughs> I don't know why I care, but I have so many random icons on the screen. I didn't want you to see. I'm thinking of uh, the prisoner died, didn't he? Or, or is he still alive? I think he might be still alive. Here. Maybe he is. Let's try it. I have to go on to hardfought.org. But I, I'm going to go on there for sure and um, I'm going to go onto the server on Homebrew. Not on Homebrew, on uh, Hard Fought. Why am I saying Homebrew? So let's uh, turn on the display. Wow, I have I have NetHack full screen on my um, on my larger monitor. It's kind of ridiculous looking. Probably going to need to resize this. For now, let's leave it like this, though. Yeah, which, which one was I playing, though? Was it D -net hack? I think it was D -net hack or Dynahack. I think I think D, I think D -net hack. so let's do that. Yeah, I'm in the middle of a game. Oh, I forgot to get my numpad, so please hold. And yeah, I need to resize this for sure, so I will do that when I come back with my, net, with my numpad. Okay, I'm back. Hello, Emrin, the vamp, the vampiric convict. Oh God, the vampire was hard to deal with. You're like always hungry. Uh, anyway, you should see this docking station. I gotta have so many USB devices plugged into it now. I guess in reality, I could have just unplugged a controller and plugged in the numpad. But right now, I have uh, two controllers, two headsets, the numpad, and um. I could actually plug the monitor into this too, but I'm, I'm not doing that right now. Anyway, not that you can really see what I'm talking about. Uh, so yeah, we're lucky because it's a full moon tonight, so our luck is increased by one for what that's worth. It's a slight bonus. Uh, yeah, obviously I need to resize something here. Let's see how I want to do this. Probably just change this to a... We'll just crop or something. Um, uh, what's the best way to do this? I can just kind of... Embiggen it. <laughs> Embiggen. Uh, we need bigger than that, though. Problem is, the width gets messed up. Uh, let me think about this for a second. Yeah, I'm going to make a new window. Actually, what I mean is I'm going to save this, resize, and then I think at the time when you load NetHack, it picks up the the width so let's uh let's work on that Whew. oh no you're seeing my desktop okay 
Let's crop that a bit, perhaps. Window. Let's change to window capture instead of display capture. That's more appropriate. <laughs> this might not be much to you if you if you're not used to using OBS, but um, when I use display capture, it actually uses the um, graphics device, which is how I was able to get my frame rates better. I used to use the window capture, which cannot take advantage of the graphics device, which is why I had so many frame rate problems in the past. Uh, is it just my preview, or does it look not too legible? Like, the, Are the letters kind of weird looking? Uh, I guess I'll try it. All right, that should hopefully be good. All right, let's uh, let's uh, go. Let's go, as Mario says. They look kind of weird. Okay. Uh, hmm. Here, I'm gonna make a new window. I think I screwed around with this one too much. Log it off. New terminal window. Sorry, everything's not perfect. <laughs> Maybe this will be better. I don't know. It's very important to get your NetHack graphics right. <laughs> Hard fought. Okay, we're going to open DynaHack. Uh, sorry, I'm adjusting some windows so I can see the chat. All right, so now we're all good, I think, hopefully. All right, hello, Emrin, the Vampiric Convict. Welcome back to DNetHack. Your lucky full moon tonight. All right, so what the heck are we doing here? Let's see. Not carrying anything except gold. Oh, wasn't, oh nymph, wasn't there a nymph harassing me and she stole my, like, my armor and stuff? Oh, hey, Ryan's here. I thought you went to go follow, um, Stu. All right, so, um, yeah, this is good whiskey, by the way. It's my usual kill big, and I just finished the bottle, though. Uh, let's see, let's see. I don't have a plan here. I don't remember where, if, I don't remember if I had any idea where this nymph was. So I'm just going to kind of run around looking for her, I guess. Hold on a second, I have to turn on my numpad. Because nothing's easy in NetHack. Not even moving. Here it is, a uh, number pad. I have to turn that on. Okay, it's on. So Arturo says, wait, why would Full Moon give you good luck? You are a vampire, not a werewolf. Well, it gives everyone good luck, actually. It's a universal net hack rule that if you if the, it uses the real calendar. In the real world, if it's a full moon, you get a, a luck bonus. If it's a new moon, you get a luck penalty. So this is my rat, right? No, a quadruped. It's a, it's a lamb? A peaceful lamb. Okay, it's not mine, but it's a peaceful lamb. And I have a sewer rat friend. Another one. They're not really helpful, though. They're just kind of peaceful. Um, so I'm hungry. I'm going to run out of things to suck blood from soon, I fear. And this n this nymph has all my stuff. I don't know, maybe I should just move on, because I'm going to starve before I know it. Yeah, I'm already weak. I'm in trouble. i got to go to the next level. That's my only hope. I might, I might actually faint before I get there. Once you get really hungry, you start fainting, and you're just done. Oh, here's the nymph. Now, the problem with the nymph is they, or the naiad, as they call it in this version, is they um they teleport away once they try to steal from you, whether they're successful or not. So now I'm kind of I'm not even able to drain her blood or get the stuff. Oh, here's a hobbit. I can at least feed on the lifeblood of the hobbit. Now I'm only hungry instead of weak. Okay, let's drain. Okay, drain the hobbit. I have a dagger at least for what that's worth. There's a nymph. Let's throw a dagger at her. 
that your cold iron dagger sears the naiad's flesh. The dagger rusts. So I'm playing a, a fork of NetHack. A fork meaning a fork is a term in open source software. For those who don't know, that means you take the existing open source software and you say, I'm going to kind of clone this and make my own version of it. And in NetHack, there's tons of that because it's such an amazing game and that people decide, well, I'm going to make something based on that. And there's like, there's got to be at least 20 forks of this game. Some of them are good, some are not. Uh, that that Nyad's getting away again, I guess, so I don't know. I'm going to go downstairs and try to find things to suck. Yes, I know that sounds ridiculous. Drain the blood from the kobold corpse. It must have been poisonous. You seem unaffected by the poison. Uh, okay, I'm poison resistant. I guess that's a function of being a vampire. I, I kind of am tempted to just... You know what, I'm going to take a note that on level 1, there's a nymph with, I mean, a Nyad with my stuff. So now every time I look at the overview, I have that note. Oh, there it is. There she is. Let's uh try to drain her. If we could hit her before she hits us. That's the issue. She's like fast. And now she just disappeared. They like teleport away, so they're very difficult to deal with when you're low level. All right, I'm going down the stairs. I was actually already here, apparently. Hmm. This is a different room shape than, than the vanilla that hack has. Draining the jackal. Arturo says, yesterday a bunny lady stole your extra lives. Now a naiad steals your gear. I'm beginning to sense a pattern here. Yeah, these ladies like stealing from me. Hey, food ra oh, food. <laughs> That's funny. Food rations are useless to a vampire in this game. Or I'm going to carry them anyway. I don't know. Acid Blob does not respond. Get out of the way, Acid Blob. You can't kill it? It's too friendly, apparently. It's a peaceful Acid Blob. Uh, I could probably force the attack anyway. So, what I'm re referencing here is usually in the vanilla the hack, you can attack um, peaceful things, but it gives you a prompt, like, yes, no, do you want to attack? In this game, it does not seem to do that. It just says it does not respond. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right, because when it, when you move into a peaceful creature in this version of the game, it'll um, default to chatting. It gives you the... So, in Vanilla the Hack, you default to attacking, but in this game, it defaults to chatting, so I don't know how I could actually force the attack. Just get out of my way, you damn blob. So Arturo asks, can you make a humanoid your pet and use it as supplies? Or like to drain it? Probably. Here's a hobbit, let's drain it. Mm, yummy hobbit. I have a sling and some rocks for what that's worth. Red mold. Blah, blah, blah. Floating eye, dare I? That could be really bad. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to mess with that. So, floating eyes paralyze you when you attack them. And... That is like the number one cause of death for newbies. <laughs> but I'm kind of like, I want to get this thing out of my way, and, and also I want to eat because I'm really weak, so maybe I'll just risk it anyway. But it's probably not wise to do that. Also, I could, you know, a lot of turns pass while you're paralyzed, so I would probably starve to death, regardless of whether another monster killed me in the meantime. Okay, draining the iguana. That sounds like a... <laughs> you know where I'm going with that. Sounds like a phrase for like some kind of euphemism. <laughs> I'm draining the iguana. <laughs> What kind of whiskey should I get next? I should try something new. I, I've had a lot of Kilbegan, and sometimes I get Macallan, and sometimes I get the Costco generic stuff, which is called uh, Title Title 21 or something like that. Some gold. I don't know whiskey too well. I only started drinking it much in the past few years, I guess. So this is an altar. 
to the neutral god. I am chaotic, as you can see down here. By the way, I meant to, um, I gotta remember to do this. There's a nice interface that I've seen other people use. That's not this one. And last time we played, I, I was like, oh, I don't want to actually try to try to configure this on the fly. So I gotta do that offline. I gotta give myself a note to do that. And it would look a lot nicer. I mean, obviously you still have character graphics, but you would have like a panel on the right for your inventory and all the messages. You have like a small history of the messages at the top. It's almost like a Windows kind of thing. I never had whiskey, Ryan. Wow. Yeah, okay. That's fair enough. Uh, drink from the sink can be dangerous. But I'm going to do it anyway. Maybe blood comes out when I'm a vampire. No, no, no such luck. So that message there, the pipes break, water spurts out. That means it turned into a fountain. Ooh, water came overflowing. Okay. The cool drought refreshes you. You only feel... Cool draft refreshes you. You only feel hungry now. The fountain dries up. The best thing about a fountain is you can get a, a wish sometimes. A genie comes out. Oh, a dog. Should I try to... Mm, yeah, I'll throw the food ration at the dog. The little dog still looks wary of you. Probably because I'm a vampire. So vampires are not in the vanilla game. So this is, um, well, they are in the vanilla game, but they're not like a character race you can choose. Okay, Ryan, have a good night. Thanks for joining. And maybe I'll see you on Monday, maybe, or else another time. You should make it a Long Island Ice Tea Arturo. Were you the one, by the way, when, I think it was when I first met you in the New York office, I said something like, "Oh, I live on I live on Long Island. Do you know where that is?" And you said, "No, but I know the iced tea." <laughs> I think that was you, right? <laughs> that was pretty funny, I gotta say. <laughs> okay, so I made the dog peaceful, but I didn't tame it. I guess because I'm a vampire, so it's still kind of afraid of me. It just doesn't want to kill me anymore. This is a t-shirt on the ground. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll wear the t-shirt see what happens. I don't know. Oh, that's right. Oh, I feel itchy. There's certain... I know I read it out loud last time, but vampires can't wear certain materials. I don't remember what they all are, though. There's, um... I think I got that message last time when I... When I, um... Wore the Grey Dragon scale mail that I had wished for. So you ask, can you drink the blood of your pet rats? Um, if I can figure out how to force an attack on them, I probably should be able to, yes. However, attacking your pets, eh, it's probably okay because I'm chaotic. I think normally if you're lawful or neutral, your god is like, what is this guy doing? I don't like him now that he's killing his pets. But I think it's okay when you're um chaotic. But if you notice, the plus one t-shirt did not help my armor class at all. So I and so I took it off and now I'm relieved because I'm not itchy anymore. I took it off. It's um certain materials don't jive with vampires. I would not think a t shirt would though. Like I don't think that I didn't think that would be a problem, but I guess it is. You hit the mains. The blunt force is ineffective against the mains. Don't know what that means. It's interesting all the new details they've added in this one. This is called D-Net Hack. I'm going to refresh my chat window because it's being a little weird, so get, bear with me one second. It's amazing, like, the 700 different technical problems you can have when you're running a stream. It's like, geez, you can have sound, video, uh, your CPU might not be able to keep up, uh, your chat window might mess up. <laughs> it's like, really, really a production. You, Uh, weak again. It's very hard being a vampire. I remember that. I played, um, I think vampires were in a variant that I played quite a bit called Slash'em. So I am familiar a little bit with the vampires. And it's very hard to not be hungry all the time as a vampire. Now in that one, in Slash'em, you were able to collect bottles of blood. They were potions of blood, I mean. I don't know if that's in this game. 
So I'm going to wield this sling and fire the rocks at the floating eye and try to kill him from a distance that way. Okay, I killed it. I'm level 5 now. Cool. It did not leave a corpse, unfortunately. I guess I mutilated the, the eyeball too much with the rocks. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I'm going to head to the bottom right-ish. I'm fainting. That's bad. I might have to pray real soon, actually. If I can't get some food. Uh, there's an orc or something. What is that? And some, some iguanas. This is an orc. This is a, a lizard, a newt. And this one is another newt. Alright, so the only problem is the eye is in my way. So I can either go around or close the door and smash it so that I can move diagonally. So, yeah, you can't... It's a kind of a weird quirk of this game. When you go through a door, you can only go through directly, like, horizontally or vertically. But otherwise, you can move through any square diagonally, generally. Alright, so, I don't want to... I don't want to bash it with my sling. Let's go barehanded. Okay, so I'm starting to drain some blood. I'm only weak now, as if that's good, I guess. Oh, so that goblin was around for too long, so the, the blood has coagulated, meaning it's all, like, solid now. I'm using the sling on this floating eye again. It worked last time, so I figured maybe this time, but I did not kill it this time. Oops, I accidentally... Crap. Okay, I got frozen by the floating eye because I was dumb. <clears throat> the total noob mistake. Okay, I killed it, and its corpse is there. Let's drink from it. Cool. Now, I did not get the telepathy that you normally get from eating a floating eye. It's possible as a vampire I already have that ability, but I don't know. It's very much like, um, it's very overwhelming the need to to drink blood as a vampire. I'm going to keep going downstairs just to attract as many monsters as possible. Why am I highlighted red now? I don't know why I'm highlighted red. Huh. Oh, that's not me. That's this square here. Which, is that another altar? Oh, that's the chain. Wait, what's that's just the chain for my ball and chain. But what's the red square? It's a plate mail and a staircase up. Okay, I'm holding the plate mail. I don't know if I can wear it though. At least I'm not slowed down by it. That's good. Let's kill the leprechaun. Hmm. So I'm only hungry now. It stole money from me, unfortunately, as leprechauns tend to do. Giant bat, let's drink from its blood. Yum, yum, yum. It's like really oppressive, the need to... Oops. Need to feed. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble, I think. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> I guess I could have tried praying when I was being a little reckless. Also, I, kind of, I think I just want to try a different kind of character. Here's all the abilities I had, though. Was I tel telepathic? I have a lot of resistances and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, the vampire convict is dead. Okay. Well, what now? There's so many mods I could try. So many forks. I want to try just maybe a new one, perhaps. Let's see. Um, actually, I kind of want to do some NetHack 3.7, too. That is the one... That's basically your vanilla NetHack, but with 3.7, they they really nerfed uh, Mind Flayers, who are a huge pain. They almost make me want to quit the game when they really affect me badly. <laughs> but, um... I think I want to try something crazy and not play vanilla NetHack. I could try Spork Hack or Unnet Hack. Evil Hack has a. Actually, you can be. In Evil Hack, you can actually be someone who's. I don't remember the full story, but you're an evil character who's not trying to retrieve the amulet of Endor. I think you're like trying to 
destroy it or something. Like basically, you have a whole kind of opposite quest. So maybe I'll try Evil Hack. How does that sound? Sound good? It's also not N O T D. What does that mean? Night of the Living Dead? No, <laughs> Night of the Dead. No. <laughs> I just know that people who talk about the movie Night of the Living Dead abbreviate it as N-O-T-L-D. So that reminded me of that. Anyway, let's try Evil Hack. That's only on version 060. I'm probably going to... Ch Let me change the game that I'm playing on the stream because I think YouTube shows it as NetHack. I mean, it's Cuphead. And people are like, oh, let's see some Cuphead. And they see this and they're like, what the hell am I looking at? So let's um change it to NetHack. Okay, so now we're being honest about what we're playing. Uh, no, I want to choose. Let's see what we can choose here. Okay, you got your basic archaeologist, barbarian, caveman. Convict is in this one, too. You can play healer. Infidel might be the one that has the the quest turned on turned upside down. Yeah, I think Infidel is it. But, uh, I'm surprised there's not that many new classes in this one. Alright, I'll pick an Infidel. So I am Emrin, the Infidel human Orc or Illithid? I think Illithid is like a Mind Flayer, actually. Let me look that up. Yeah, it is. It's like a Mind... <laughs> it could be a Mind Flayer. <laughs> wow. Alright, I'm going to be an Ill 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 Illithid. Because that's different. Uh, I'll be male. Yeah, so I'm an Illithid Infidel. And I'm unaligned. You can be unaligned in this game? It is written in the book of Moloch. After the creation, the mighty god Moloch rebelled against the tyranny of Marduk the Creator. So this is interesting right away. I don't know if you pay too much attention to these intros, but usually it talks about Moloch as a bad guy. And this time, and the book is of your guy. So like in the book of, you know, uh, Loki or whatever. But in this case, it's the book of Moloch, so I must worship the evil god Moloch. So after the creation, the mighty god Moloch rebelled against the tyranny of Marduk, the creator. Oops, I skipped it. Shoot. All right. What do you want to call this dungeon level? What? So I accidentally highlighted something and messed it up. Uh, but besides that, it is a full moon still, so I'm lucky. And Moloch has chosen you to return the amulet of Yendor to him. Okay, I thought I had to like, destroy it or something, but maybe not. Could be I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. So I have as a pet. Um, hold on, I gotta set my options again for the numpad. I must have missed it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. B. Uh, look at all the options they have. By the way, it's pretty crazy. You could use a phone style digital layout. Or a phone style layout with MS DOS compatible, whatever that means. Anyway, I will turn it on, and I have a pet, some sort of imp or something. The cap, the lowercase i, it's a homunculus. It's my pet homunculus. By the way, do you guys know what a homunculus is? A homunculus is a creature summoned by a mage to perform some particular task. They are particularly good at spying. They are smallish creatures, but very agile. They can they can put their victims to sleep with a venomous bite, but due to their size, the effect does not last long on humans. And then we have a quote from Conan the Rebel by Paul Anderson, which I won't read right now. Oh, Cobol. What do I have anyway? My equipment is... I, oh, look at this. I have the Amulet of Yendor to start with. So I have to bring it down to Moloch's Sanctum at the bottom, probably. If you remember when I was playing last time when I won, I um, I had to fight like the High Priest there or something like that. So I guess I just have to bring it there. So also, I have a plus one dagger. Not great, but at least it's a plus one. And I start with a cursed fireproof cloak of protection. A cursed fireproof leather jacket. I guess infidels wear leather jackets because they're, they're bad boys. Like, um... <laughs> Like a greaser or something. I don't know. I'm trying to think of who thinks... I guess maybe like a biker. A biker wears a leather jacket and they're bad boys. Uh, I have three spell books because I am... a spelly type. And apparently my... Um, I'm a wizard kind of spellcaster. All the um, 
Gen generally in NetHack, some character classes use intelligence for spells, and some use wisdom. So I have 21 wisdom, which is insanely high, uh, and but my intelligence is pretty terrible, so I must use wisdom for the spells. So I can use Clairvoyance, Drain Life, and Psionic Wave. I have three potions of Unholy Water. I have a Firehorn and an Oilskin Sack. So Arturo asks, will the wizard chase you? I don't know, actually. I don't even know if I have to leave the dungeon after I go to Moloch Sanctum at the bottom. Do I just, like, destroy the... or offer it, offer it to Moloch there? That I'm done? Or maybe there's, like, an alternate kind of quest I have to do after that? I don't know. By the way, given that I have all those spell books, I can probably cast spells. Yeah, I have uh, all three known right now. However, Clairvoyance is going to be hard to cast. I have a 76% fail rate. That'll probably go up as I gain levels. But I can cast Drain Life and Psionic Wave, which are both attack spells. And my fail rate is 0% for those, so that means I automatically cast them, so that's good. Why don't we try something on this kobold, like Psionic Wave or Drain Life? Come here, kobold. Let's try Drain Life. I didn't have enough energy, so every spell costs power. My power is eight. Unfortunately, it never doesn't say in this in this handy menu how much power a spell costs. So I'd probably have to look it up. Steel dart. I see your question, Archu, but I just explained, so <laughs> it's that little bit of a lag time, I guess. Oops. I used the run command and it kind of passed by a room I would have got into had I known. Let's read a random scroll. Maybe something fun will happen. You were surrounded by darkness. Okay, it's like a scroll of darkness or something. Yeah, look at this whole corridor. is all dark now. Hopefully the darkness doesn't follow me. Uh, i got to be careful here. I'm already getting beat up by jackals. That means I'm not a good hand-to-hand -hand fighter. Which I kind of figured out. It looks like I'm kind of a wizard type, basically. But I'm also a bad boy with my leather jacket. Right, we should check out that uh, parenthesis. It's probably a chest. Hmm. A large box. It's empty. Oh, that's useless. We got here a statue of a dog or something. Yeah, a statue of a jackal. Oops. My running is not somehow it feels a little off. I, I don't know. I'm not sure why. It might be the they change the way you run works, or the layout of the level is different from what can ordinarily happen. Because I feel like I'm overshooting stuff by accident more than I normally would. Okay, so we're level two. That's nice. And we have a scroll labeled Yum Yum, a large box. It's locked. How shall we open the large box? Let's force it with our dagger. Oh, there is a trap that we triggered. It froze me into place. There's an effervescent potion, a wire ring, a red gem, and a violet gem. Okay, shall we read a random scroll and drink a random potion? Yeah, when I'm low level, I like to throw caution to the wind, and try all kinds of random crap. Oh, I destroyed my cloak. Oh, that's bad. Oh, well. Yeah, I said I was going to throw caution to the wind, so I deserved it. That was a cloak of protection I just lost. That's a good thing to start with. You probably don't find one until much later in the game, generally, so that was bad. The cloak detects monsters for what that's worth. You can see uh, an orc type and a rat type to the right. Otherwise, there's nothing else here. Hmm. Some money up there. Huh. 
sewer rat bites. The sewer rat is put to sleep by the homunculus. Pardon me one sec. Okay. Let's drink from the fountain. Bad breath. Sense the presence of monsters. Looks like some more orcs have appeared. Fountain dries up. Alright, that's it. I kind of like to drink from the fountains just to try to get a wish. It's a small chance each time you drink, but you do it enough times then you can get a wish. Okay, let's um step back. It's like a number one rule of pretty much every roguelike if you're if you kind of walk into a corridor so that you cannot have multiple guys around you, then you are better off. You don't want multiple enemies taking shots at you. What is it? A pummel? The goblin pummels me. Inter interestingly different um, messages. It said that the goblin pummeled me. And earlier it said that the goblin thrusts his crude dagger. The goblin pierces you. So that's all different messages than what I'm used to. I'll eat the goblin. It tastes okay. It's all right for a goblin, I guess. To a rat, I'll eat him too. It tastes terrible. Steel darts. As you can see, this forecast in differently shaped room as, rooms as well. It's kind of neat that they have different shapes other than the basic rectangle, but at the same time, it's like, does it really add much? I don't know. I guess it's cool. I'm open to it. I'll put it that way. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm enjoying playing roguelikes as like maybe the or especially NetHack as like the second half of my stream <laughs> after I play like the action game with Robot. I can calm down with some NetHack. That game Cuphead is so brutal. Oof. It really tests your reflexes and everything and your pattern recognition. And then I feel like so old as I play it because <laughs> I'm like oh, I can't keep up anymore. But as you retry it, you do get better. All right, I don't know. There's all this gold in the walls that I can't seem to get to. Let's try another random thing. I'm gonna put on this ring. Putting on a random ring can be dangerous. I'm doing it anyway. It started to float in the air. Okay, let's see if it's cursed. Okay, it's not cursed, so that's actually very good. So I'm gonna name this not cursed. Let's go. Homunculus. Use your rat. I think I gained two levels. I should try my magic again. Hear a shuffling noise. What does that mean? Okay, cool. I got a potion of energy which increases my power. Blindfold. Okay. So let's try some magic. By the way, did my percentage increase? No, my fail is still 71 at clairvoyance. I forget how the math works on it. It's a level 3 spell and I am level 3 myself, but that didn't help apparently. It might be going with old D&D rules, which had trying to think back to my advanced Dungeons and Dragons years. It had like I think it, magic I don't think it had a percent chance of casting, but it did have like a strange formula. Like every other experience level gives you a spell level, I think. So if you were level 1 or 2, you could cast level 1 spells. 3 or 4 level 2 spells, etc. It was kind of I don't know. You think they could have just made it match, like level one is one. <laughs> but I don't know. I guess they thought it was un not quite balanced or something. The, the kobold zombie groans. Look at that. And I have a perforated amulet. That's strange. Perforated? I should be zapping things. Oh, here's a kobold we can try it out. Okay, what are we going to cast? Let's try a it threw a file at my head. 
feel something dizzy. It's probably a potion of confusion. All right, I'm going to try zapping. Let's try the drain life again. What, you feel the amulet draining your energy away? What? I killed it with that, but the amulet I have, even though I'm not wearing it, or is it, oh, the amulet of Yendor, that's right. What is its effect? Why am I wearing it? Do I need to wear it? Amulet of Yendor, let me look that up. It's funny that I'm starting with it. So what this does is while worn, uh, it actually has a whole bunch of effects while carried. I don't know if it has any more when worn. Oh, it does have some when worn. Let me uh, share the wiki so I, you can see what I'm talking about. So I will switch the window capture over to Google Chrome. Uh, Amulet of Yendor. Okay, so this is kind of a uh, not fitting that great, but uh, <laughs> I don't want to adjust the window too much. But basically, if you look over here, when Walder, when Warner wielded, it'll tell you when you're near magic portals. Okay, I don't need that effect. I should take it off probably. But even when you're just carrying it, it has a whole bunch of effects. You get clairvoyance. So that means you can see monsters when blind, I believe. When casting spells, your energy is drained. That's what just happened to me. So it, that's a downside. Hunger is increased. Okay, so I want to I want to take this off probably. Oh no, that's when carried. So I don't really have a choice there. Sheesh. Your luck times out more rapidly. Monster difficulty will depend on your deepest level reach, not your current dungeon level. Oh yeah, the reason why they made that is because what that means is, say you've reached the bottom of the game, which is level, you know, 50 or whatever, and then you're going on, on the way back up. Um, the normal way difficulty works is, I guess it works on your dungeon, current level, so if you were on level 5 of the dungeon and you're about to win the game, it was if they didn't have this effect, it would probably be, you know, the, the dungeon would be creating kind of weak monsters and it, would, it wouldn't, wouldn't cause you any threat. But with this special amulet effect, the amulet of Yendor effect, it'll um, cause tough monsters to come at you as if you were on level, you know, say 50 in that example. What else we got? Uh, a bunch of stuff is generated awake. And you cannot level port or branch port. There's a lot of stuff. Teleportation is blocked a hun uh, one third of the time. Sheesh. All right, so um, yeah, I'm gonna stop wearing it because I don't care about finding magic portals. But it does have a bunch of effects still, unless Evil Hack changes that. I don't know. I didn't look up specific to to Evil Hack. All right, back to the terminal window. Let's take off this stupid amulet. You were wearing the Amulet of Yendor, but now you are not. Okay, let's see. Uh, now, why is it these corridors are not drawing? Is that because of the Darkness Scroll? Is this like permanent? The Darkness Scroll said a cloud of darkness falls upon you or whatever. I guess it's just the corridors are dark always, probably, in this game. Key, that's good. Excuse me. There's a monster behind the boulder. That, that can be annoying. Let's try a sonic wave for kicks. You mentally attack it. You kill <laughs> I killed whatever's behind the boulder with my mental attack. There's no corpse, so I don't even know what it was. Oh, look at that. It gives me a handy prompt to unlock the locked door with my key so I don't have to fumble through my inventory and hit apply, blah, blah, blah. That's kind of cool. There's so much money in the walls that I can't really get to. 
Okay, I already did that long corner. I guess I'm going to go downstairs. Come on, homunculus. It's kind of weird that it's not drawing the corridors, or at least not permanently. It's like, that's definitely different. Whatever, whatever they call that is different. Corridor amnesia? I don't know. I'm making that up. Down we go. A cave spider was hidden underneath a steel stout spear. This thing's giving me trouble. Let's, uh, let's just zap it with drain life, I guess. Why am I carrying spear? Let's drop the other one. Did the homunculus come down with me? What is that black spot? A hobbit rogue. Oh, he's black because he's a rogue. <laughs> Maybe I should change my terminal color like I did before so I can see black things. Uh, I can't remember how to do it. Let's see. Preferences. Blah, 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 blah. Background. Uh... I don't know. How about like that? Interesting. Now I can see the corridors. They're just drawing as black. Huh. That's a strange choice. Okay. Where's my homunculus? He didn't come downstairs. He's next to me. He should be coming downstairs. There he is. Go fight that hobbit rogue, homunculus. The homunculus misses the hobbit rogue. Good, he's put to sleep. Now I can beat him up while he's asleep. You kill the hobbit rogue. Hooray. I wonder if homunculus has to eat. I'm going to name him something, by the way. Let's call him to name the monster over here. He is Homie the Homunculus. Not Homie the Clown. Red Mold. You feel mildly warm. That means I have heat resistance. Cool. I found a towel. Don't forget to bring a towel. The fountain dries up. A towel <laughs> I'm thinking of Towley. You know Towley, right, Arthur? From South Park. <laughs> I'm so high right now. Do you have dubbed South Park? In in uh in Mexico. Or does it have subtitles? I I can't imagine how Towley would sound in Spanish. <laughs> Oh, I'm fainting. I didn't even realize. Jeez. I have a Lembus wafer. I'll eat that. Whew. You have a full dob? Holy crap. That's, how does Cartman sound? <laughs> I'm imagining how Cartman sounds. Actually, I'm always... I always find the... Uh, I've, I've heard Simpsons voices in several different languages. Like, I've heard Japanese and Spanish and... I think a few others, and they sound very strange to me. I'm like, what? What is this? And I've actually talked to someone in Japan who thought that the American Homer sounds very weird. And I guess that's kind of expected. We all think everybody else's voices are weird. But I guess you're just used to one or the other. What is this weird colored wall over here? What's going on? Cool, yeah, I'd like to hear Towley. Mexican Towley. Now I'm wondering how they <laughs> how they voiced the uh, the scene with the Mexican guys who talk about writing their essays. <laughs> I wrote my essay in Miami. Sorry, I shouldn't do bad Mexican voice. Um, <laughs> I have skull caps I could try wearing. Let's try one of those. Okay, that gave me one armor class, and it looks like it did affect my spell casting a little bit. Uh, 
The general rule in this game is the more metal armor you wear, the worse your spell casting does. So that made both my fail percentages for drain life and clairvoyance a little bit worse. Uh, it might be worth it for the armor class because it seems to only be like 3% or maybe 3% for this one and maybe a little bit more for this. I don't know. I'll just hold on to it because my armor class is crap and I think I need all the help I can get. So let's take off this one just to try out the other skull cap. Okay, it's the same thing. Alright, uh, what's going on with that room? Yeah, it's very weird. It's like this blue colored wall. I don't, I don't get it. Okay, thanks. I can do honor. I can do fake Mexican voice because I am an honorary Mexican. I appreciate it, Arturo. So I think that might be the the vaults that you find in the hex once in a while. But why can I see it? Is it because I'm clairvoyant? Wait, am I clairvoyant? Or I just have the um, I have the spell. I don't have the natural ability. Huh. I can apparently smell gold or something. I don't know what's going on with this character. It's very weird. But I don't have a way to dig into there, so I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can go there. Who is this I? It's a shrieker. Shrieker shrieks. I wrote my essay. Mm, you hear the jackal howling at the moon. This must be a word jackal on this level. The fox. Let's fight the fox. Scroll of Identify, always a good one to have. I'm surprised I knew what it was offhand, though. Actually, I think I heard of that. There are, um... <clears throat> I might be making this up, but I think that there were some people who thought you should know a scroll of Identify without having to kind of use trial and error a zillion times to find it in the first place. It's possible I'm making that up. Sounds reasonable, though. That's kind of like one of the major... Look, I ate the Lone Lord's brain. Cool. <laughs> I like that. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so identification is like a huge, huge part of this game. So if you know what the scroll of Identify is to begin with, that helps. Uh, is it homie another way in Mexico? Mexican Americans call their pals. Ah, uh, probably some do. I think it originated with African Americans generally calling each other homie. Uh, but you know, like most things, uh, other cultures kind of ad adapt the, the lingo. And what, basically, once white people adapt things that African Americans say, that's when the African Americans are like, "Okay, this is played out. Let's say something else." <laughs> so I'm getting punched by a were rat. It is not. Um, Trying to follow what happened here. It's punching me. It's not biting me, so I, it's not too much of a concern yet. But I should probably zap it with one of my spells. There's a word rat and a baby owl bear. Okay, so I'm gonna blast these guys with drain life. Maybe I don't know if it'll plow through them one after the other, but I'll try. Oh, the I killed the owl bear, but it looks like the the were rat resisted. Oh great, it bit me. Damn. However, it didn't say I feel feverish, so I might be okay. So let's do psionic wave. The iron of your helm blocks your psionic attack. Oh, I didn't know that was going to happen. I guess I got to take off this helm for sure. Damn. All right, so I'm probably going to get beat up now. I'm down to 10 health. And... It's their turn to attack. Oh, it looks like Homie, the homunculus, put the were rat to sleep, so that's good. But I'm going to take off this helmet. And try again with the, with the um, psionic blast. You mentally attack the were rat. The were rat withers in anguish. Okay, it's still alive, though. But I just, I just punched it to death, or stabbed it with my dagger, I should say. Oof. 
So I'm going to go hang out over here and rest a bit. Come on, homie. What is the... I can't remember the command to just type a number of times you want to repeat an action. There we go. N20... No. N20 search. That'll make me just sit there searching for 20 turns, which is the same thing as resting, basically. But if something interrupts you, like, for example, this Hobbit rogue opening the door right now, then it'll make me stop searching. He threw a crude dagger at me. I got hit by it. So I think it's time to blast him. Let's do Drain Life. I assume Drain Life heals me too. Let's keep an eye on my hit points. My hit points are 18 right now. And I think Drain Life will probably give me hit points. I don't have enough energy. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, I really wish it told you on the screen how much energy it costs. But I also have the Amulet of Yendor making all my spells cost more. Uh oh, I'm getting pummeled. It stole my plus one dagger. It tries to run away with my dagger. Sheesh, I get back here, you jerk. Uh, I will punch it. Cool, I killed it. I punched it to death. Oh, now I got a word jackal. Okay. And I don't have much in the way of power, so I'm going to grab my dagger and run. I'm pretty beat up and low on power. And this jackal is unfortunately right on my tail, and I'm not faster than it. Close the door in his face. Oh, the door resists, so that kind of ruined my plan to close the door. <laughs> but at least it's just a regular jackal next to me, and not a weird jackal. Hmm. We could try this random wand. I have a fire horn. I should remember that. But let's try the wand for now. The jackal blocks the way. What did it do? Don't know. Okay, that was not helpful in terms of identification. Uh, let's try the fire horn. Here we go. Let's see what a fire horn does. Improvise? Yes. You start playing your fire horn. In what direction? To the left. You kill the jackal, you kill the fox. Cool. But I did not kill the were rat. I guess it was not there. I thought the I thought the fox was the were rat. I'm going to eat a nice roasted jackal. No, I should probably run to the right to buy myself some time and heal up. I will wield the dagger and run. Now, who's this? A were jackal or just an ordinary jackal? This is a were jackal. Okay. Hmm. Nah, I don't know if this is wise. I could run downstairs. Go get him, homie. Cool, Horjack is put to sleep by homie. Oh, it bit me. Your tentacles suck the werejackal. <laughs> you eat the werejackal's brain. I love that. I love eating brains. Cool. So between my brain eating and homie's sleep power, uh, we did pretty well. I am still pretty beat up and low on power, though. By the way, if, if, I don't know if you ever heard of the show In Living Color, but there's a character named Homie the Clown. <laughs> and, uh... That was very popular in the early 90s. It was kind of a, a comedy show. And I think that was Jim Carrey's uh, first major break. It was mostly an um, African-American show, like a lot of black comedians. In Living Color, it was called. But Homie the Clown was a popular character who returned several times. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Hobbit zombie grows. Where is this Hobbit zombie? Yes, the show is called In Live in Color. <laughs> Sorry if I wasn't clear yet. In Living Color. And if you want to look up Homie the Clown, you can <laughs> you can Google for In Living Color Homie Homie the Clown. Actually it's Homie D, the letter D. Homie D Clown in Living Color. And his catchphrase was Homie don't play that. Yeah, I, I can't imagine that translating too well over there. It's very um it's got a strong like kind of cultural element to it. What is this here? Forge. Huh. What is that? Do they want to step on it? Because it's red. It's, it makes me think lava, but... And a forge sounds like fire. <laughs> but can I step on it and work on weapons or something? Or I don't really have... I don't know how it works, but let me look it up. I guess I can always look it up. Net hack forge, actually evil hack. All right, in evil hack we have forges. They have the same appearance as fountains, but are orange in color. Just like fountains, dipping things into them can have desirable or adverse effects. Okay, they can be used to dispose of anything that is flammable. It can also be used to repair corrosion or rust damage to any metallic object. There is a rare chance that a lava demon can be summoned via dipping, which will be hostile most times, but can sometimes spawn tame. Same odds as getting a wish from a water demon or from a fountain. Having a zero or negative luck can cause a forge to explode when used, which can cause considerable fire damage. Okay, so... I guess the main use is to repair corrosion or rust damage to metallic objects. And they don't really have that issue right now. Hmm, okay. I mean, I could try it once just for kicks. I'll dip the steel darts into it. Your steel darts glows briefly from the heat, but looks reforged and as new as ever. Okay. I am hungry, by the way. Do I have anything to eat? I do not. That should be my top priority right now, then. Come on along, homie. Come on, homie. She's gonna make me starve. Jeez. Homie, where are you? Homie, don't play that. <coughs> No, I'm going to eat this ant. Oh, I didn't leave a corpse. <laughs> I'm weak with hunger. Uh -oh. I'm just going to skip uh, an ant again. Let's, let's eat it. I ate the... Oh, look. Look, when you eat their brains, you get less, you get um, satisfied. So I'm not weak anymore. I'm hungry because I ate the giant ant's brain. And I can also eat his corpse now, so that's good. All right, so... Is there any path to the downstairs? Look, there's actually two downstairs. One of them might be the gnomish mines or something else. Maybe this is a new section of the dungeon. Trying to feel weak. Huh. Okay, I'm going to go down here. Come on, homie. Hurry up, hurry up. I'm just going to go. What is this? Is this the Gnomish Mines, but they added some water? Shallow water, water. Huh. There's some gnomes. It's probably the Gnomish Mines. Let's eat them. Come here, gnomey, gnomey. Yeah, there's a lot of gnomes, so it's a gnomish mines. I will eat their brains. I'm fainting. Oh, crap. I guess I should have brought homie with me. You sense your surroundings. What does that mean? Okay. I'm dead. All right. Ah. So, I probably should have brought homie with me, but I was kind of desperate for food. Or I could have prayed. <laughs> it's a rough game, this net hack. All right. What else should we try? Hmm, we could try. I wonder what FIQ hack is or Spork hack. <laughs> Let's do a little Googling and see what's an interesting sounding 
fork to play. I, want to, I mostly want to try something with like an interesting new character class or race. I mean, I could always try this one again, but I'm kind of being ADD right now. I just want to jump around from one thing to the other. What does FIQ hack that has? Here, let's try. Let's Google for coolest character classes in NetHack forks. <laughs> I don't know. He was only played Slash him a lot. I seem to remember that having some good ones. I could try Slash him. You want me to be a caveman? Okay. Let's try Slash him extended. Wow! Whoa, 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 whoa! What am I looking at? Holy crap! Holy crap! This is just A, B, and C on this page. <laughs> Seven pages of it. An acid mage. I don't know what half these words mean. An Altmer, Aklist, a Necro, a Necro noun binder. What? Anachronous is a time traveler, I think. Wow. A bleeder, a blood seeker, a bosmer, a bully. <laughs> Cardomancer, what is that? A, a magic mapper kind of person? A seller child. <laughs> this is crazy. I love it. A cook. I want to be a cook because food is such a problem in this game. A death eater, a cyber ninja, a cyber ninja. <laughs> it could be a cyber ninja. A demagogue. Demagogue just means like a person who um. Usually, usually you call a politician a demagogue. Like they just say things that people want to hear. That's a strange character class for a fantasy role playing game. A DQ slime. A doll mistress. Doom Marine. I guess that means like the character from the game Doom. A druid, a drunk. <laughs> Should be a drunk. Elementalist elf with a PH. Empath. A failed existence. A firefighter. <laughs> flame mage. I guess the flame mage and the firefighter are enemies. A gamer. What is all this stuff? This is crazy. This is crazy. Gold miner, graduate, gunner, a hussy, <laughs> Je a Jedi. A Jedi could be a Jedi. <laughs> a geek. Yeah, I'll be a geek or a Jedi. Um, a ladies' man, librarian, locksmith, lunatic. I don't know what this Japanese word means. Ma Mahao Shaju. Ciao, Joe. Mason, mastermind, medium, midget. <laughs> I should be a midget. <laughs> Mill swallower, monk is normal. Murderer, a murderer. Everybody's a murderer in this game. A nuclear physicist. <laughs> this, is, this is a Pokemon. <laughs> a Pokemon. A politician. I, I'm overwhelmed. I, I'm pleasantly overwhelmed, though. It's like, wow, now I want to try all of these. Like a Pokemon, I gotta catch them all. A psyker, a quarterback. Social justice warrior. Yeah, I'm gonna be a social justice warrior. What does otaku mean? I know I've heard that word. Otaku, I mean. I'll Google it quick. It's a young person obsessed with computers or particular aspects of popular culture to the detriment of their social skills. Okay, so it's like a, a like kind of a Japanese nerd who probably cosplays and stuff. Otaku or yeah, I guess Otaku. Storm Boy, Space Wars fighter, software engineer. That's me in real life, I guess. I guess I should be a software engineer to reflect real life and see how I do. I don't know if I would do too well in a dungeon full of 
dangerous monsters. I gotta say, I don't know if I could handle eating all these raw carcasses of raw bloody carcasses of like jackals and stuff that I have slain. A top model? Transylvanian, a transvestite. Unbeliever. This is insane. A wand keeper. I guess they are good at using wands. A weird boy. Yeoman, a wise, sexy mate. What? A cyborg with a Z. Well, any suggestions? <laughs> I don't know what I want to pick. Uh, I want to go through the list again. <laughs> Maybe I'll list it random and see what happens. Yeah, I'll just do that, I guess. I'll hit random. Oh, I think I missed prostitute. <laughs> Alright, I'm hitting random. Let's see what happens. Pick, oh, I'm a Transylvanian, apparently. Okay. They kind of misspelled Transylvanian. I, th I think it's only one S. And my race I could be a bacteria. Okay, this is getting a little silly. Though. Bacteria is a plural, by the way. I could be a bastard. Batman. <laughs> I mean, obviously, they're. I don't know why I'm. I don't know why I'm concerned about it being silly, but um, obviously they've gone all out with the silliness. So I could be a cockatrice. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, I'm just gonna hit random. I'm, 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 this is crazy. Wow. I just saw one called the race that doesn't exist. Hybrid races? No, I'll just pick one for you. Uh, random alignment. From the Book of Laura. Your goddess Laura seeks to possess the amulet and with it to gain deserved ascendance over the other gods. You, a newly trained heel wearer, have been heralded from birth as the instrument of Laura. You are de destined to recover the amulet for your deity or die in the attempt. Your hour of destiny has come for the sake of us all. Go bravely with Laura. So I'm a chaotic male worm. <laughs> worm Transylvanian. Why am I a heel wearer? You know, I want to be a Jedi bacteria. That would be cool. Message of the day. There are three new weapon types that were added recently. They're Orb, Claw, and Grinder. Uh, okay. So there's a new message each day on the server? You're dressed like a freaking hard rocker. Okay. You're on the moon tonight. <laughs> okay, so what do I have? I have a heavily cursed plus five block healed combat boot. Weapon in four claw. Because I'm a worm, so I <laughs> have it on my four claw, not on my foot. Heavily cursed plus ten enchanted of Team Nasty Trap pair of hippie heels. I don't know what the heck this is even talking about. Trans as a Transylvanian, someone who wears like heeled boots or something. I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, I have a lot of scrolls. I have five scrolls of healing, four scrolls of mana. Excuse me, one second. Uh, phase door, standard ID, I guess it means identification, cure, and heal others. So scrolls apparently can heal you and stuff. Usually, um, uh, things that make, like, internal effects to your body were reserved for potions in the hack. And scrolls are, like, more like a, an effect, an outward effect, kind of. Anyway, this game throws all the rules out the window, obviously, so I guess it's okay. Uh, oh, i got to turn on the numpad, as usual. <laughs> Look at that. They make it as soon as you hit the options command. It does not um, give you the options menu. It says, if you want to turn on the number pad, because probably like 99% of people go into that menu just to turn on the number pad. So that's cool. Wait, I said yes, so why is it putting me in this? Okay, fine, whatever. Do I still have to hunt for it even though it prompted me? I don't get it. Uh, number pad G. Oh, it's already on. Oh, it was in DOS compatible mode. I guess I guess I only need B. Okay, so let's try looking again. 
This thing is a human or elf, a tame little girl called Sarah. Okay. I don't get why I have a tame little girl called Sarah. What did I just do? Did I kill something? An ant mummy? <laughs> fleece bolt? What the hell is a fleece bolt? And I have a flail. What's my weapon again? Oh yeah, the plus five block healed combat boots. It's heavily cursed. So I guess it means I cannot switch off of it. What's going on here? Water or molten lava or a crystal water or a moorland or an or a urine lake or a okay, this is too much. <laughs> I will ignore this water, I guess. What is this? A cloth material kit. Okay. These are walls? I don't get it. Okay, the pound signs are walls. You turn into a female angoil. Why did I transform? Is that what Transylvanians do? Or did I hit a trap or something? I'm so confused. You return to worm form. Okay, I guess I polymorphed. The antipodal wields up two times double headed axes. Okay, they're wielding two, two axes. Uh, let's kill it, I guess. You kill the an ancipital. Shall I eat it? I mean, that was an ad symbol. I don't know if I can eat it. But again, then again, this game is so bizarre. The rules might not apply. Alright, I'm going to try it. No, I can't eat it. Okay, I cannot eat it. It doesn't give me the option. Your attack passes <coughs> harmlessly through the shade lichen. The healthy case spider bites. Okay, the but I'm gonna get killed by a, a case spider unless I run away. Uh -oh. I'm stuck to the lichen. Uh oh, what can I do here? I have a scroll of healing if I need it, I guess. Okay, so I have five. I'm gonna read a scroll of healing, I suppose. You'll feel healthier, and I'm still getting bitten. I should probably just fight them directly. Cool, I killed one. Okay, I killed two. But I cannot harm the Shaded Lichen. My attacks just passed through, so I'm trying to pull away. Okay, so I did it. That was rough. I don't know how to deal with that thing. Sarah eats a healthy case by her corpse. Sarah swings her wedged little girl sandal at the Shaded Lichen. What? Like, why? What's all this stuff with like, hitting things with with footwear? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> Sarah shouts medic because she's caught in a spider web. Okay. You kill the farting brat. <laughs> Things that are here a Mecha Irazu. I don't know what that is. It sounds Japanese. And Mecha reminds me of like Godzilla, where they kind of prefix things with Mecha. <laughs> Mecha got a little blue vest and another double headed axe. Alright. Should I try wearing a Mecha Irazu? Oh, don't even bother. Your current form can't realistically wear armor. But you may try to wear something anyway. Do it? Uh, yeah. Damn, you just stagger around aimlessly. Okay. Well, I'm a worm, so I guess I cannot wear things too well. What have we here? This is a Kremlin. And this is an elemental, a crawling elemental. Okay. Let's step back a little bit. You kill the Termalane, which ter termlane, which is a kind of Gremlin apparently. Shall I eat it? No. Oh, I have to use a different command to eat things on the floor. Okay. I will try eating the trim lane corpse. It feels like your face is turning green. And it looks like these numbers in brackets are my hit point damage. 
So I took four damage from eating that, and my current hit points are now 39, it's telling me. But it tastes delicious, apparently. You turn into a churn lane, okay. You feel more confident in your fighting skills? Okay. I will enhance my combat skills then. I can increase my polymorphing skill. This game is so out there. I don't know what the hell's happening. Okay, so I'm going to increase my polymorphing ability. So I used uh, Pound Monster to see what monster abilities I might have. And I can... I now have the option, do you do you want to turn off the increased chance of your missiles passing through pets? No. Any other special ability you may have is purely reflexive. Okay. Let's fight the crawling elemental. You claw the crawling elemental, it staggers for a moment, you kill it. And uh, now we'll try eating it. it. Tastes terrible, you finish it. You turn into a psychic fungus. Okay, so I think I'm a worm that every time I eat something, it turns into something random. Can I wear armor now? Uh, I don't know. I guess if I polymorph, I probably can. You have the polymorph skill, which allows you to get a longer-lasting polymorph. Do you want a longer polymorph duration? If you answer no, you just throw the bonus away. Uh... Would I turn into a freaking fungus? No, I don't want to stay in the fungus for longer. The boots are pushed off your feet. You decide you had enough of those hallucination-inducing boots. You find you must drop your weapon. This is so weird. You cannot pick anything out of a fungus. No. What's happening? I'm blind because I'm a fungus, for one thing. Okay, something's killing me. Oh, you know what? I have a lot of hit points as a psychic fungus. I have 131. And things are attacking me and dying. <laughs> and they're becoming confused in the process. It's so strange. Okay. So I'm back to normal. I'm back to my normal wormy form. Uh, can I try putting on those boots again? I don't know. You're putting on a studded leather armor? No, I'm not. What's it talking about? Why did everything change? I don't know what the hell's happening. I'm looking at my inventory now and everything's different. Wait, am I hallucinating? Is that, oh, I am hallucinating. Okay. I look at all the... The whole dungeon is rainbow colored now because I'm hallucinating. <laughs> this is so bizarre. This is definitely the strangest fork of NetHack I've ever tried. Spiderweb. <laughs> I mean, I... <laughs> I kind of want to like this, but I'm just kind of like, the whole time, like, I don't know what the hell's happening. <laughs> it's possible I just kind of chose something that's a little bit too out there. Maybe just I'll try a Jedi or something. <laughs> Bacteria Jedi. I will try to open it with another part of my my warmish body. The door is just it's like it's like a I don't know. I think it's a few too many of these like um that kind of long prompts or they say you can't do that but do you want to try anyway and, and I don't know it's kind of weird. Oh, bummer, everything is dark help. You just blinded yourself. Or things like that. I just don't even know what the hell it's talking about. Like, why did I blind myself? Because I tried opening the door with my wormish body. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the hell's happening. <laughs> I'm going to rest for a bit until I'm done being hallucinated. However, my pet keeps showing up as a, a monster that interrupts my searching because I don't know what it is because I'm hallucinating. Very strange. Suddenly you fear the dungeon around you is going to collapse. Quick, where is the nearest exit? What? 
Okay, I have a new status called fear, I think. I think that's what FEA is. So I'm afraid the dungeon's gonna collapse for some reason. Okay, the fear went away. I need, I need the hallucination to go away. Though. The confiscating toboggan swings her knife. The busted lagging shreds hits you. The Romulanian soldier misses. Okay, uh, which one is this? I guess there's only one thing next to me. Or is there? Yeah, just the one. Vanilla Nethack might have made you miss the attack, but here you hit the imposter mortally. What? The desperate digestive swings her eternal pole. The Rendorn misses. The restacked flattest miss. I'm so confused. I know I'm hallucinating, so it's a random name. But like, I'm not even sure what these are supposed to mean generally. Like, what, what, what is this? Sanunda inan klarinizi. What, 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 You feel less faithful. What? what? The cautionary elliptical kicks you. You kill the gloomy sphere. Okay, I killed whatever was attacking me. Whew, can I stop being hallucinating at least? Scroll. Prickly Ash Potion. Oops, I think I accidentally attacked my pet. What is this strange donut shaped room? The Pursuance Quantity Ultra Microscopic Celebrity Misses. <laughs> A fortune cookie and ring mail. Now it's not that. Mm. Do you really want to step into that trap? No. Is there some graffiti on the floor? Use R dot to read it. Okay. You read destruction I guess it will cause a 15 by 15 area to change completely but you but you undamaged okay sorry did I just kill something you kill the performable engrosser all right I don't want to be hallucinating anymore come on it's got to wear off What's going on here? Look, I have a, I have a scroll labeled Me Too is the German word of the year 2017 lol. What? This one is it's neither Yanni nor Laurel. It's Kafifi. <laughs> Roblox Hacker Man. Alright, I'm going to pray. Well, actually, didn't I piss off my god or something? I don't know. I don't know. Just, I just don't want to be hallucinating. It's already hard enough to understand this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll stop eating random fungus next time. The llama misses. Your hippie heels block the Elantarial's attack. Look, there's a JRR token here. The Denise misses the Tinkerbell. The Adamantium zombie misses the Freezer turret. Whew. Okay, I can't read all these. <laughs> Impressive amount of work they put into coming up with all these random things. I think I just lost my uh, pet, though. The Apex worker was probably my pet. Alright, let's kill this thing. You hit the disgusting patch. Why do 
to blind myself every time I try to open the door. Because I, because I'm a worm and I, I'm going to pray. I'm just tired of being hallucinated. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm trying. You finish your prayer. You feel that Celine Jules is pleased as punch. Your chainmail softly grows umami. It did not help with the hallucination, but it made my armor uncursed, I guess is what it's saying. This place makes Wonderland sound sane. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, on the ground we find engraved, the master of cats must be killed nine times before truly dying. That's interesting. A wooden container. All right. Okay, I think I'm actually, I'm almost about ready to log out and go to bed, but I want to try this a little more, just not like this. So I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to quit this character and just try again as something else. Wait, they changed the quit command. They just, this is like the whole game is designed to troll you. You can't even quit the game properly. Probably I can do hashtag quit. Yes, go away. I don't want this character anymore. Okay, so I'll try again. Um, I'm going to be... Should I try a drunk? I guess I'll be the Jedi I, wanted to, I always wanted to be. Software developer? <laughs> okay, I'll try the software developer. All right, software developer, and my race can be what? All right, let's see how we'll do in a dungeon. All right, should I pick a human then? Uh, I'm a human software developer. I will go with neutral. You find yourself in a derelict spaceship. In order to get out, you have to make it at least to the bottom of the sewer plant. But watch out, once you leave, the monster difficulty inside the space base and its sub-branches will increase to reflect its actual depth. Well, what is going on? The moon is waiting to... Okay, so I'm a summer intern. It looks like... A uh, software engineer has kind of crap stats all around, except their intelligence is good. <laughs> okay. I do have a gun. That's good. I don't know why a software engineer has a gun, but I guess I have to give him some kind of weapon. <laughs> I have a healer uniform. What? A lot of scrolls. I have some coffee. <laughs> Excuse me, a hair clip, a charger. Uh, can I guess about Um, Probably, I just don't know any right now. And who's this next to me? Oops, I gotta use the damn numpad thing again. What? Number pad on. Okay. This is a tame geek called Tacitus the newbie. So my pet is a is a geek. Okay. All right, and I am a summer intern. That's my character's level title. So I'm a noob. Software developer. Secret door. I'm going to shoot things with my gun, by the way, for sure. Dr 
drinking from the fountain. Uh-oh. You feel a change coming over you. You turn into a bitter soul. You feel more confident in your fighting skills. Your armor falls around you. Okay, so I'm a bitter soul now, whatever that means. And I can advance my polymorph again. And I'm back to human form. Okay, that was quick. Dum-dee-dum. Wait, what is... Oh. Should not be hitting things with my gun. It's a backbringer. What the heck is a backbringer? Do they have descriptions for all these things? This is a, apparently a cat or feline. Okay, I'm going to shoot it with my gun and see how that goes. Uh, what? Fire to the left. The backbringer avoids the projectile. The beginner elemental claws you. Okay. Let's try shooting the cat again. <coughs> Miss. <coughs> Excuse me. Getting bitten by the backbringer and clawed by the beginner elemental. I'm going to step to the right with the hopes that my pet geek can hold off one of these guys. Probably the elemental. Yeah, so now I can fight one guy at a time at least, but it seems like I'm pretty crappy. I do have a ton of scrolls though. Let's try one more shot of the bullet. I killed it. Cool. And I think my geek killed the elemental. Sorry, I just got a, a notification that was weird, but I'm ignoring it. Um, the money is apparently buckazoids. Okay, I have 18 buckazoids. Guess I'll explore some more. Scale mail. It's got to be better than a healer uniform, right? Can I wear it over it even? I apparently can. So now I have minus one scale mail, so it's probably cursed. Yeah. So who knows with this game. The newbie soldier wields a knife and is killing me. And I am I have one hit point. Okay. So there's actually two soldiers near me. I'm probably best running or healing or praying. Uh, I guess I'll use a scroll of healing. I have five of them. Might as well. You feel healthier. And now I'll run, actually. Oh, good. They're slow, apparently. So I could uh, run away. I could even try shooting to the left. The bullet hits it. The bullet hits it. You kill it. Welcome to level two. Cool. You hear a flinging sound. You're hit by a knife. Okay, I'm going to shoot some more. The bullet misses. Bullet hits it. Bullet hits it. Bullet hits it. Bullet hits it. You kill it. Cool. I can shoot soldiers to death. And there's a two-handed sword. So there's apparently a military barracks. That's why there's a bunch of soldiers. Oh, a weakish soldier. I killed him. Wow, I'm getting a lot of levels. I learned how to perform what? Zap him. What does that mean? Learn how to perform is that? Is that a spell? No. Huh. Learn how to perform zap him. Should I try the two-handed sword? Probably terrible with it. I did well enough, I suppose. Caps lock screwed me up for a moment. A wooden box. Let's loot it. It appears to be locked. Let's force it. 
Oh, something's attacking me while I do it. Something invisible is to the south of me. Let's kill it. Uh, it's doing a good amount of damage, though. I killed it. By the way, my current level is web designer. That's my current title. I thought I kind of missed um, keeping up with how my title's been changing, but I'm a web designer now. Open the box, and there's some buckazoids, poison darts, and a possessive spell book. Okay. Let's read the spell book. The words on the page seem to glow faintly. You begin to memorize the runes. The geek called Tacitus, yeah, he's just screwing around. I have learned the spell chemistry. You have the memorization skill, which allows you to gain extra spell memory for newly learned spells. Whenever you learn a spell, you are asked whether you want to use the skill to boost the new spell's memory. In the case of doubt, you should always answer yes. Okay, if you answer no, you would just throw the bonus away. Exception is if you want a forgotten spell, but you only ever need one of these normally. Okay, see, they, they kind of give you these verbose descriptions, and they kind of leave you like, what? what are they talking about? So, anyway, memorize this spell to add more spell memory, yes. You gain 20% extra spell memory. Okay, so I have chemistry. Let's try using it. I don't know what it does. You call upon your chemical knowledge. Nothing happens. Okay, so I guess it's situational. <laughs> Very weird. The wall with money in it in the way. Let's drink from the fountain. The water's no good. There's a headstone here. My potion of coffee is cursed now. I think that last drink from the fountain curses some of your items. Unfortunately, my gun is now cursed too. Well, that sucks. Oh, I can. Oh, I didn't think of that, Arturo. I could try it next time. A scroll labeled Satan Chop Crashes When Impossible is called. What? I gotta read it, of course. Identify. Okay, let's identify the... Uh, nothing really special to identify here. I mean, I could do the weapon just because I'm using it. It's uncursed plus zero. What do I want to do next? Okay. Uh, the poison darts. They're blessed. The knife and sling. Cursed knife. Okay. So now I have to consider if I want to wield the gun again, it's going to be cursed, which is not ideal. But the gun might be my best weapon. However, it has a limited amount of bullets. And I seem to be doing better than I expected I would with the two-handed sword. I'm like hitting a lot with it. And it's not a skill I can advance in, though, as a um, as a nerd. No, as a software engineer. I can do dagger, short sword, scimitar... Club, flail, hammer, spear, sling, firearms, dart, whip, lightsaber. <laughs> okay, so I probably don't want to hang on to the two-handed sword, actually. Yeah, hopefully I can just get it uncursed. I don't, I don't have holy water, do I? I have coffee, cursed coffee now. Uh, okay, I'm just trying to debate if I should switch to that uh, gun right now, though. The flintlock gun. <laughs> I think I'm going to hold off until I can uncurse the gun. And I'll just keep using the two-handed sword and maybe throw some darts in the meantime. A noob stone biter corpse. Should I try eating it? <laughs> kind of afraid I'm going to accidentally commit cannibalism because I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Okay, I'm going to eat it. it. Tastes terrible. Okay, so it was not cannib cannibalization apparently. Mm. 
you kill the black rat? Well, I do probably think I should um, wrap it up though, because I'm getting pretty tired. I found a secret door. So maybe I'll just finish this level. Why can't I go right? Okay. There's an altar here. This is an altar to Moloch unaligned here. Huh. Unaligned. But it's to Moloch. That's weird. So in Vanilla the Hack, Moloch is at the bottom, like we talked about earlier. And you just, if you try to sacrifice the, um, either the amulet or any object, I guess probably the amulet, you just die. So that would be dangerous to try. Although it's interesting that you can find it on level, uh, whatever I'm on. Oh, I'm in the space station or whatever the heck, right? <laughs> It says Spa 17. Very weird. Who killed a snake old naga? MM Vault Cashiers. Teleport any amount of gold to the next local branch. Okay. Evil Patch Amulet. Hemlock Wand. Oh, excuse me. Hello, Acid Blob. No, it's a Tuck Blob. Okay, let's kill it. Can't hit it. There we go. Touch? Tuck? I don't know what that word is supposed to be. The door is locked. I do have a key, don't I? Or was that last key? I do have a key, okay. Some Buckazoids. Wow, I am overwhelmed by the strange in this game, for sure. <laughs> you hit the shock trove? What the hell are these? Like, <laughs> they come up with these outlandish names that I, I don't even understand what they're trying to say. A trove. Slash is a trove. And it's something I can attack, apparently. So it's a monster. So this is a monster right here. <clears throat> I don't know. I guess I'll finish killing it. Because what else am I going to do? I could try eating it. Let's eat it. it. Tastes terrible. Alright, where's my geek? Once my geek comes to me, we'll go down the stairs together. Here, geeky, geeky. Yeah, I have a Pokédex. That's true. Even in actually the um, last one we tried, I had a Pokédex. That's just when it gives you kind of a more detailed description of the monster. Like in Vanilla, Vanilla the Hack, they don't give you the numbers and stuff. They just kind of give you a, a flavor description. Okay, where's the geek? Come on, geek. Is that you? Yeah, come on. I need a leash for my geek. Does this one have a name? I could give it a name. Oh, yeah, his name Tacitus. That's right. All right, we're going down. There is a normal blob. Okay, normal blob. You missed the normal blob helpless, hopelessly. Okay. A morning star, huh? Splint mail, wow. Surprised I'm not burdened, considering my strength is abysmal and I'm carrying around suits of armor and stuff. I guess they made it uh, harder to be encumbered in this game. All right, so I said I was going to wrap it up, and I probably should. But first, there's a leprechaun hall. Oh, my goodness. The king gizzard wields a rubber hose. Okay, we're going to leave it there. <laughs> Oof, this thing's actually hurting me bad. It might actually kill me. Uh, okay. I could tame it. Anyway. I don't know if I should care, but my only concern is if I save right now, I'm going to be in the middle of this battle and kind of for I'll have forgotten that I'm in front of a deadly monster and I'll probably die. I'm just going to finish this fight, I guess. Uh, I could just read Scroll of Taming or, or I could wield the gun and shoot it, I guess. I could try the Hemlock Wand. Let's try the Hemlock Wand. The King Gizzard is unaffected. Swings her rubber hose, hits you. 12 damage, I'm down to 24 now. Okay, let's try Taming. You're now mine. 
That didn't work. King Gizzard swings through a rubber hose, but my scale mail deflects the attack. Okay. Um. I feel like if I go toe to toe with the two handed sword, I will not win. I think I have to run and wield the gun and shoot her. Hopefully, she doesn't catch up, though. Okay, she's kind of keeping up with me very well, so that's not promising. So I can't really maintain a distance and shoot her, probably. Uh, I mean, I can heal a few times. So I, might, I, might just, I might just have to hope for the best while swinging my sword, I suppose. Alright, let's try that. So I will attack once more. Just thrust her spear into six damage. I could probably take another hit or two. I'll, I'll, I'll risk one more. I miss. She stabs me for eight. Yeah, let's, let's heal up now. So we have, uh, where was it? Item L is healing, so let's read that. You feel healthier, thruster spear, your scale mail blocks. Okay, so I'm back up to 51 hit points again, as it says in the bottom. I hit the, I hit King Gizzard. I got her for 17. I hit her again, I got hit for 12. I'll risk it again. One more hit, and then I'll read another healing scroll. Okay, I did not get hit, so I'll, I'll just keep going. Seven. Okay, let's read another healing scroll. Oof. I'm going to go through a lot of them, probably. She missed. She hit me for 15. Missed. Hit me for 12. I'll risk one more again and repeat. Oof, down to six. Okay, I'm going to read healing again, I guess. Ugh. Down to 14. Guess I should do it again. Heal. I'm out of healing scrolls. Are there any other things I have up my sleeve? Uh, I could always just zap a wand of digging straight down and try to escape it that way. Sometimes I think they come, like, they come and follow you, though, if they're next to you. But I'm not sure of that. Alright, take another two-handed sword. Blow. Oof, one more. Okay, I'm down to eight. I guess I'm going to try the wand of digging trick. And hope for the best. You dig a hole through the floor, you fall through. Okay, she didn't follow me in. I actually forget if that's a thing in vanilla in the heck. Alright, so uh, I guess I'll wrap it up here, but I should probably note to self... Right in, of course, the, because I'm going to write in the dust, it'll get mangled a bit, but hopefully it's hopefully it's semi-readable. I just zapped Wand of Digging downward to escape tough enemy. My pet geek is upstairs one. Okay, I can't type that much, so I'll leave it at that. My pet geek is up. Okay. So as you can see, it gets mangled. Oh god. <laughs> I can barely read it already. But it gets mangled every time you step in the square, so it should not get worse at least. Okay. So, that is our show for tonight. It is almost 12.30 and I must go to bed. So, thanks for watching as always. And uh, thanks for Arturo. Thanks whoever else is watching. I see somebody else is watching. One or two people. And, uh, yeah, I plan to do my usual streaming on Monday. My normal schedule, as always, is Monday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. It is Monday Mayhem, in which I play old-school emulated games. Often I play games on the Mame emulator, so that's like arcade games. And this particular stream is uh, Saturday Night Gaming. I try to play with Rob Bob when possible. And that's at 9 o'clock, and it can be anything. Usually it's some kind of game I have on Steam, and somehow I always wind up playing NetHack or Rogue as well. And that's about all. So uh, have a good night. See you next time, and take care. Bye.